KNDY. And a very pleasant good evening, and it is a beautiful Friday evening for high school football. Bruce Dierking, Mike Side with Max Blasky, and we've got the Valley Heights Mustangs entertaining the Republic County Buffaloes. And our broadcast coverage tonight, a service of Titan Trailer Manufacturing, Performance Ag, Prairie Valley Veterinary Clinic, the Route 77 Corner Stores, Waterville Housing Authority, Mark Soto and Hardware, My Sister's Closet, Mustang Motors, Blue River Veterinary Clinic, Blue Valley Technologies, Dean's Automotive, Cottage Hill Ag, Parker C., the Citizen State Banks, Landall Company, Christy Anders Funeral Home, Twin Valley Workshops and the Thrift Shop, Blue Valley Trailers and Sharp Manufacturing, and our regional sports boosters, Honeyman Auto, United Bank and Trust, Can Equip, Hometown Lumber and Hardware, St. Gordon and Associates, Sunflower Community Credit Union, Kramer Oil, Channel Seed, and Bruna Implement. 7 o'clock kickoff tonight. Cody Trimble will be our guest with additional comments on our pregame show. Straight ahead. Titan Trailer Manufacturing of Waterville offers a full line of horse and livestock trailers, flatbed trailers, utility trailers, dump trailers, stock trailers, cargo trailers, and custom trailers. Are you sensing a theme here? Trailers. If you need it, they have it. Not only do they have it, Titan Trailers are a higher standard of quality manufactured in Waterville. You're pulling the best with a Titan Trailer. Log on to TitanTrailer.com and find a dealer near you and see for yourself. This is Thad Argenbride with Performance Ag in Waterville, your Pioneer dealer. Our vision at Performance Ag is to deliver to you the very best in seed genetics from Pioneer, along with the best in service, which includes on-site seed treatment, direct delivery, and tender use. Call me, Thad Argenbright, at 785-313-3064 and find out why. With Pioneer from Performance Ag, you get more than a bag of seed. Prairie Valley Veterinary Clinic at Blue Rapids offers large and small animal veterinary services, boarding, grooming, pet foods, and all of your animal health supplies. Keep your animals, small or large, healthy with Drs. Musil and Dr. Lang at the Prairie Valley Veterinary Clinic in Blue Rapids. See them today or give them a call. Prairie Valley Veterinary Clinic, offering veterinary services, boarding, grooming, pet foods, and all of your animal health supplies. Mom, I'm hungry. Can we stop at the Route 77 corner store? Sure. I need gas anyway, and I can save money on that using my Dino Pay app. Awesome. Okay, I want Hunt Brothers Pizza, one of their ice cream treats, maybe a shake or a cone from here in Blue Rapids. Then we need to go to Waterville because I want some of their fried chicken and fish that's hand-breaded daily. Oh, and don't forget the chicken strips. Whoa, you can eat all that? You underestimate my appetite as a teenage boy. I guess we'll be stopping at the Route 77 corner stores in Blue Rapids and Waterville. Oh, I need a candy bar, too. It was week one? Well, I think it was week two. Two, okay. And again, welcome back. Uh, turning point tonight, if we will, as the Republic County Buffs come in winless in three starts this season. Valley Heights Mustangs, one and two, with losses to Centralia and Troy, a win versus Onega. So 0-3, 1-2 oh coming in tonight. It is high school football action, a 7 o'clock kickoff. Crowd filing in. Hope you can join us tonight here at Valley Heights High School. It is Harley Night Motorcycle Night tonight, so I guess if you want to bring your two-wheel ride, you can join the excitement tonight for Friday Night Football. And again, thank you to our sponsors on the broadcast. We'll come back with Valley Heights Mustang head coach, Cody Trimble. Everybody is wanting to reduce, reuse, and recycle. How about reducing the amount of money leaving your bank account every month? With income-based living and reduced cable bill costs for everyone, Waterville Housing Authority is your housing partner. Enjoy maintenance-free, comfortable living in one- or two-bedroom apartments. Check out their Facebook page or call 785-363-2239. That's 785-363-2239. Get the good stuff. Superior quality at competitive prices. It's right around the corner at your Napa Auto Parts store, Blue Rapids Auto and Hardware. Napa has over 310,000 parts and accessories for auto, truck, farm, and small engines. Plus, all Napa brand parts are backed by a national warranty program. Need answers or advice? Just ask the friendly parts professionals at Napa at Blue Rapids Auto and Hardware. They're ready to help. Get the good stuff. Quality you can trust at prices you can afford at Napa Auto Parts, Blue Rapids Auto and Hardware. 
My Sister's Closet Boutique in Waterville has all you need for your wardrobe this season. They specialize in the latest fashion trends. Don't get caught in last year's style. Stop in and refresh your wardrobe with all your favorite team colors. Stock your closet with cute, comfortable, trendy, and affordable options. Hurry to MSC today or start your shopping online at MySistersClosetKansas.com. Big city style with small town service. Come and spend a day at MSC in Waterville. If you're looking for a car, truck, van, or SUV, look no further than Mustang Motors in Blue Rapids. They have a great inventory. You're sure to find what you're looking for. And if you don't see it, Colby will help you find it. And they don't sell anything they don't warranty. But if you do need repairs further down the road, they have a full-service department and a mechanic available. Plus, Mustang Motors has a full-service professional detailing service. So stop by and see or check them out at MustangMotorsKS.com. That's Mustang Motors in Blue Rapids. If any of your family members meow, bark, squeak, chew, dig, squawk, claw, play dead, or fetch, you need Dr. Porter and the Blue River Veterinary Clinic in Waterville. Dr. Porter is dedicated to the wellness and health care of your small animal pets, offering vaccinations and wellness checks, boarding, dentistry, emergency care, grooming, surgery, and radiology with her full-service clinic. A healthy pet is a happy pet, and a happy pet means a happy home. Call today for your appointment, 363-2222. Welcome to today's program. I am joined now by head coach of the Valley Heights Mustang, Cody Trimble. Coach, you dropped your homecoming game last week, 55-6 to against Troy. We talked about last week how Troy was going to be a big, fast, physical team. But for your younger team, how much is this a lesson in, let's say, resilience and bouncing back uh, the following week? Yeah, that's what we've been talking about all week with them uh, since the loss. Uh, Troy is they uh, they came in ranked number five, and uh, you know we we knew they had some athletes and stuff. And on film, I I was kind of surprised they were number five. But after playing them, I think it's pretty legit. They're a, they're a very good football team. Uh, I'm not, I don't want to take anything away from them, but you know we didn't play very well either. So uh, I think we're better than the score showed. But obviously, we got to show up and make it happen on Fridays. After you've had a chance to watch film and go over that game. Um, what's one thing you do take away from that game that you either thought you excelled at or that you see some promise in that you want to build on here coming up the second half of the season? You know, the fight with the young guys, uh, a lot of these young guys played last year as even younger guys. And one thing we talked about all year was how they, no matter what was going on, they never backed down from anybody. You know, if we're behind or ahead or undersized or, whatever but they, they always continue to fight uh so that's that's a promising thing to see especially in younger guys um but obviously we got to take care of the ball and do some better things building that confidence i think is the biggest key with a younger team and offensively on that side of the ball how big is consistency going into let's say a game like this and then going on into your schedule to build that confidence you know it's huge and we've been telling these guys uh, you know, we got a pretty tough schedule this year, so any chance we got to, to build a little bit of confidence, and I feel like uh, we got an opportunity to do that the next two weeks, uh, we got to take advantage of it because, um, you know, Mary's the, uh, they're going to be a good game. They're going to be a strong team here week six, and then we got Wal Bunsey, who honestly should have beat Troy week one, and then we play Smith Center, so we got an opportunity to build a little bit of confidence here in the next two weeks, uh, and I don't want that to sound like we're overlooking anybody because if we don't show up and play, it could be the same story as last Friday. But we've been preaching that they got an opportunity here. We just need to make sure we take advantage of it. The old saying goes, you can't be the best until you play and beat the best, and that's part of the scheduling tough opponents too with it. Now, looking at your next opponent, well, Republic County comes into town with a somewhat younger team in a – of itself, what's one area you look to either attack on that team or you just hope your team builds on? You know, I think we just need to, like you kind of mentioned, build our confidence a little more. Uh, I think we did it a little bit after the Onega game. Kind of took a step back that Friday, obviously. Uh, so build confidence, and I'd like to see our fullback, Case and Bigham, kind of get going. Uh, some of the defenses that Centralia and Troy play against us as 
kind of tailored around stopping what we do with fullback position. And I feel like there's an opportunity for him to have a big game this week against Public County. Uh, we just need to make sure that we try to get him going because I think he could be a force once he does. Of course, like I said, best of luck coming up on Friday, Cody. We will be down there for the Republic County game, be our featured game of the week. So best of luck. Can't wait to see you down there. Can't wait for a great game on Friday night. Thank you. We look forward to having you. Raise your hand if you need more internet speed. It's time to get your hands on much faster internet. Don't settle for yesterday's internet speed when you have a home full of today's devices. Upgrade your Blue Valley Technologies internet speed now to the speed you need and get a $50 bill credit. If you're new to Blue Valley, you get two months free and everyone gets free installation on managed Wi-Fi. Visit bluevalley.net forward slash raise your hand today. Dane's Automotive and Tire in Waterville and Marysville is your reliable automotive repair shop. Servicing engines and transmissions, ACs, radiators, exhausts, and diagnostic checks. Did you know Dane's does tires? Carrying all major brands and sizes from trucks, ATVs, trailer, and farm implements, Dane's Automotive and Tire has you covered. With over 85 years combined experience, your locally owned and trusted repair and tire shop is Dane's Automotive and Tire in Waterville and Marysville. Turn to Cottage Hill Egg Supply in Waterville when you need to take your crops to the next level. Start with top quality channel seed complete with treatments and delivery. Precision planting equipment gives you optimum seed spacing, singulation, and depth control. Kilbro seed tenders are dependable for delivering seed to the field and planter. And Darren carries sprayer parts, fertilizer parts, and Conklin egg products so you have the best growing season ever. Grow your best with Cottage Hill Egg Supply. At the beginning of every crop year, you get only one chance to get it right. Start your season off with a seed you can trust. Plant DeKalb Astro. They have a full range of products that have proven themselves year after year. Parker Seed can provide the right seed for your environmental conditions. There's no room for error. Call Parker Seed to start your season off right. When you call Todd Parker, he'll put his knowledge and experience to work to help you make the right choices. Call today, 562-6687. That's 562-6687. It takes a lot of know-how to run an ag business right. One of the most important things is choosing the right financial partner. That's why so many producers work with us. When it comes to agriculture, you can count on our experience. For land appraisal and more, you can talk to us. We're local, and we're here to help you grow. Citizen State Bank, Marysville, Waterville, and Hanover, member FDIC. Mustang Marching Band coming off center field after performing our national anthem and the Mustang fight song. Rumble of thunder in the distance, if we will. It's Harley night, motorcycle night tonight at the game, and there's quite a few two-wheelers behind us in the parking lot from the sound and the feel of things here. The starting lineup for the visiting Republic County Buffs, winless in three starts this season. At quarterback is Trey Melton. He's 6'1", 165, and a senior. The fullback, Maddox Simpson, is 5'9", 156, and a senior. At the wingback, Austin Scribner is 5'8", 132, and a junior. Halfback, Colin Dahl, 6'1", 160 pounds, and a senior. Anchoring the line, center Josh Shelley, 6'1", 170 pounds, and a senior. On the line, former snap. 5'7", 150, and a freshman. Ryan Beaver, 6'1", 195, and a senior. Aiden Polanski, 6'2", 205 pounds, and a sophomore. At the receiver position, Cameron Price is 5'10", 152, and a junior. Republic County head coach is Jesse Hodgson. Four Valley Heights at quarterback is Max Shanks, 6'1", 140 pounds, and a senior. The fullback, Kaysen Bigham, 6'1", 130 pounds, and a junior. At tailback, Jaden DeWalt, 5'10", 150, and a sophomore. Slotback is Caden Dummermuth, 5'9", 135, and a sophomore. On the line tonight, Damon Youngerberg is center, 5'4", 150, and a senior. Creighton Smith, 5'11", 235, and a freshman. Drake Slifer, 6'3", 190, and a junior. Tyrell Wagner, 6'1", 230, and a junior. Jacob Sweet, 6'3", 270, and a senior. And at the end positions, Royce Ekstrom, 6'2", 160, and a sophomore. And Logan Gray, 5'11", 150, and a sophomore. Head coach for the 1-2 and two Valley Heights Mustangs is Cody Trimble. 
Landall Company's success story continues to be written by their loyal and dedicated team members. Landall congratulates their employees on another successful year with an incentive bonus of 12.76% or 6.64 weeks of pay. With many career opportunities available, Landall offers career advancement, stable employment, and benefits that include profit sharing, $2 per hour shift differential, 4% attendance bonus, fuel allowance, comprehensive health insurance, and much more. Start your new chapter at Landall today. Apply online at Landall.com, an equal opportunity employer, welcoming vets and disabilities. What do you do when the unexpected happens? You may wonder what's next. Who do I call? What should I do? Christy Anders Funeral Home is here to support you through this phase of life by providing support and personal services while helping you create a beautiful and unique tribute for your loved ones. Christy Anders Funeral Home is family owned and operated and proud to offer affordable personalized packages to fit any budget. Visit Christy Anders Funeral Home in Waterville or at www.apfunerals.com. Twin Valley Thrift Shops are always updating with new arrivals. Check out the warehouse in Waterville and Twice But Nice in Beatty for a great selection of clothes, toys, games, home decor, everyday pieces, and at the warehouse, they stock furniture and more as well. Your purchase and, of course, your contributions benefit local residents served by Twin Valley Developmental Services. Both locations always accept donations of good, clean, quality used items you're no longer using. Visit the Twin Valley Thrift Shops in Waterville and Beatty. I take great pride in my lawn. My Raptor Zero Turn Mower from Hustler gives me the perfectly manicured cut I want. With the power, strength, and speed of a professional zero-turn mower, I quickly maneuver around obstacles with ease, allowing me to maneuver around life's most difficult obstacle, time. Hustler Turf, quality tools designed to improve quality of life. Find the entire line of Hustler residential and commercial zero-turn mowers at Blue Valley Trailers in Waterville. Sharp Manufacturing in Blue Rapids. Building quality, locally produced custom trailers, wishing all Mustang athletes the best of luck this year. From start to finish, the best is what you'll get from Sharp Manufacturing. Check out their full line of high-quality enclosed cargo trailers and custom car haulers at sharpmanufacturing.com. The best and last trailer you'll need, Sharp Manufacturing in Blue Rapids. Mustang football live on KNDY FM Marysville, FM 95.5, on air online, on our mobile app, streaming KNDYradio.com. Max Blasky calling play-by-play here tonight. A Valley Heights alumni in the press box, along with me, Bruce Dierking, and we're set for the kickoff. Back in the old stomping grounds, yes, I am, Bruce. A little different setting up here in the booth, but it's going to be a wonderful night for Friday night football as the Mustangs take on the Republic County Buffaloes. We're going to go ahead and get it started right here already. Montana Martin, 5-5 freshman, going to kick it off for the Mustangs, working left to right, squib kick. Mishandled by the bus, ball still loose in the backfield. Picked up about 20 around the right end is Simpson. He takes it up to about the 30-yard line. That's where Buffaloes will start. Boy, these are two young teams. You mentioned that coming in, and when I read the starting roster, they are young. This was a young kicker that didn't get a great kickoff. It bounced past Trey Milton. Maddox Simpson had to turn around, mm-hmm. spun around, picks it up, and manages to contain uh, no damage done, and it'll be pretty solid field position in spite of it all for Republic County, first and 10 off their own 30. All things said and done, yes, not bad field position. Could have been a lot worse for the Buffs, but the Mustangs will start off on defense here, working left to right. Sun in the eyes of the Buffaloes. We'll see here in the first quarter if that affects anything. It's going to be a strong power off the left side, up the left side, and a good run there by Dahl for a good almost 20 yards there. Yeah, Colin Dahl got off to a run. The interior of defensive line tried to, to make a scramble on the quarterback, but uh, Milton got a nice quick handoff to Colin Dahl, and here's a stocky 160-pound senior that rumbled downfield hit that hole and did not stop once he got to the secondary. Dahl did for the Buffs. Already moved it almost up to midfield now. The Mustangs defense reeling a little bit after the first play. It's going to go inside, but we're going to have some whistles before the play really starts to take effect. Offside penalty. It's going to be a night with a lot of younger players. I'm afraid we're going to hear that whistle quite a lot. 
Offsides, false starts might be a common thing today. Of course, Valley Heights on the offensive side is missing out on their one senior quarterback, Caden Parker, broke his leg earlier this summer. Unfortunately, will not be able to play. So youth will be the word of the night for both teams here at Valley Heights. Going to move the ball to the Mustang side of the 50 now as the Buffs are moving the ball at the 49 of the Mustangs. Third play of the game and another whistle already and a false start it looks like it's going to be. So we're going to march the five yards just right back the other way. Yeah, this young Republic County team, they're, they're, they're marching backward all of a sudden. <laughs> Thank goodness that initial run for Dahl managed 16 yards on the carry because they've just lost 10 on back-to-back flags. Quite a difference from starting at the 20 versus 10, uh, 10 yards and penalty backed up versus where we're at the 50. So it's still going to be first down for the bus. Here they go, a tight two in the backfield. It's going to be a fake pitch. Quarterback's going to keep it up the middle. Stop in the middle of that defensive line for the Mustangs for a gain of just one. Yeah, not a lot of room out there, and he seemed to slip on the turf. They didn't have any rain earlier today. We had 25, 30 hundreds up at Marysville, but they didn't have any rain here. The field looks in great shape tonight, but he did seem to, to slip in getting some footing together. Still probably a little dampness on the grass as the evening is starting to set here, set in here. Sun starting to set on the game. Republic County second and nine here at about the 46-yard line. It's going to be a power to the left again with Dahl and stopped up that time. Looks like that same play they ran the first play, but that Mustang defense was there to stop Dahl on that run. Yeah, they did. Contained him just a yard, maybe a yard and a half here. Brings the ball to midfield, but a nice job reading and reacting to a big play that got away earlier. Good setup scheme-wise for the Mustangs defensively looking to shut down the power run of this bus, bus team. Bus going to come out here on the third down and long, about third and seven. We're going to call it, going to stay in their power formation here with Dahl under center. It's going to go to the fullback for a few yards, gets up to about the 47-yard line, but they're going to be short of the for- first down as it'll bring up fourth down for the Republic County Buffaloes. Yeah, Simpson gets uh, about five yards. Now, he's uh, down on the field right now, hopefully nothing serious for senior Maddox Simpson. Uh, thought for all he was worth, he's not that big, 5'9", 156. He's up. He's heading to the far sideline. That's a good sign for the Buff- Republic County Buffalo Simpson being able to walk off. Looks like a stinger in that left arm, holding it a little favorably, hopefully able to come back. We talked about that, too, a little earlier. Neither teams have a sport a lot of size. Republic County is extremely small in the middle of that line and in the backfield, but what they make up for that lack in size, they do make up for here in speed. And we're going to see if that speed pays off here for the buses. They're going to go for it. Fourth and three in the opening drive of this game. Important game for both of these teams, kind of looking to turn the season around, get on the winning track, be a big defensive stop here for the Mustangs. It's going to go up the middle, and it's going to go for a first down off the right side. Republic County Buffalo's first down run there for Colin Dahl. Yeah, that's Colin Dahl. He had that 16 yards on his first carry of the ball game, and he showed that that running strength and ability uh, moving the ball downfield in pretty good order. That was a nice gamble to pay it off. Buffalo's kind of set up offensively, a little question in the backfield, set up two tight running backs right behind the quarterback, a little confusion and a little trickery, I want to call it, on that part, but that is part of how they're going to run defensively for the Mustangs, going to have to be stay sound defensively and where they are supposed to be. It's going to be a power run off the left side again. It's going to be Dahl, Dahl into the open field. Dahl has some space to the 5 to the 10. Touchdown, Republic County Buffaloes. Colin Dahl with the 40-yard touchdown run going to open up the game here for the Republic County Buffaloes as they take the opening drive almost 80 yards to the house. Colin Dahl really putting the team on his back on that run. Well, Colin Dahl, four carries, 65 yards, the bulk of those on that 41-yard touchdown run. Once he got a little seam there off uh, this left side of the line, he was off to the races. Got the speed to go along with the sides, and so far early on in this game, the outside of the Republic County line has kind of taken control. See if Valley Heights can find a reaction to that and stop them it's going to be a two-point conversion we have a pile in the middle looks like a straight dive and it's going to be good they're going to give it to the republic county 
So Republic County opens this game with an 80-yard drive on a 41-yard touchdown run by Colin Dahl. Put the score 8 to nothing. We're going to step away. Be right back here on KNDY. Titan Trailer Manufacturing of Waterville offers a full line of horse and livestock trailers, flatbed trailers, utility trailers, dump trailers, stock trailers, cargo trailers, and custom trailers. Are you sensing a theme here? Trailers. If you need it, they have it. Not only do they have it, Titan Trailers are a higher standard of quality manufactured in Waterville. You're pulling the best with a Titan Trailer. Log on to TitanTrailer.com and find a dealer near you and see for yourself. This is Thad Argenbride with Performance Ag in Waterville, your pioneer dealer. Our vision at Performance Ag is to deliver to you the very best in seed genetics from Pioneer, along with the best in service, which includes on-site seed treatment, direct delivery, and tender use. Call me, Thad Argenbright, at 785-313-3064 and find out why. With Pioneer from Performance Ag, you get more than a bag of seed. Back here as the Valley Heights Mustangs take on the Republic County Buffaloes. Colin Dahl for the Buffaloes just rumbled in for a 41-yard touchdown score. Followed it up with a two-point conversion as Republic County takes the early eight-nothing lead here in Blue Rapids. Mustangs getting the ball back for the, or getting the ball for the first time here in the first quarter, going to return it here left to right. We'll see what happens on the kickoff. Six play, 70-yard drive that went to nearly three minutes. A little squib kick by the Buffs, and the ball is going to start in favorable field position for the Valley Heights Mustangs. Start about the 36, 36 or 7-yard line of the Mustangs. A little squib kick there on the kickoff. I have a feeling that's going to be a theme the entire night, trying to force some turnovers on the kickoffs. The Valley Heights did a nice job protecting the ball. Went right down on that, on the turf. Didn't want to get greedy. Didn't worry about a few extra yards. You're going to pick up strong field position to start your your first uh, series here at your own 38-yard line. Not wanting to mess that field position up, of course. Looking to answer back Republic County trailing eight to nothing here early on in the first quarter. It's going to be big. Uh, excuse me, big and straight up the middle for a couple of yards for Valley Heights. He goes rumbling down the middle of that Mustang offensive line, and we're going to get a heavy dose of Case and Biggum tonight. Talk to Coach Cody Trimble early on in the week, wants to get him going this night against the Buffs. Important for Valley Heights to set a steady cadence early on. Want to prove your worth on the field here coming in tonight one and two. You, you're hungry for a victory, and you've got to set the tone early. Looking to set the tone off early offensively, of course. Freshman quarterback Max Shanks under center for the Mustangs. Going to come out here with an eye with Bigham behind Shanks and, excuse me, Deal behind him. It's going to be a run for the Mustangs. Going to get a first down up to the 50-yard line. Candy Walt, the ball carrier, on that run. Good run there by the sophomore running back for the Mustangs. Balls moved all the way up to the 50-yard line here for the Mustangs. Looking to answer back the early score by the Buffs. Ball control going to be a key here in this game. Limiting turnovers, something Coach Trimble talked about with me early on in the week. Mustangs set here at their own 40-yard line, working left to right. It's going to be big and right up the middle again, stretching out, gaining two or three yards. And that's about the third play we see there. Fullback dive for Bingham right up the middle. Follow the center. Try and find the hole. Bring up second and eight for the Mustangs here as they try and answer back Republic County. Kyson Bingham is tall but lean. Six foot, 130 pounds listed at. A good runner of the football too as well. Going to try and get his feeding here tonight, per se, running the ball. Second and about seven for the Mustangs here. It's going to be a handoff to Biggin again right up the middle, and he gets about four or five. Probably kind of saying a fumble, but ball carrier is down. Valley Heights keeps possession, moves it up to third and about four. Moving the ball into opposition territory now. Still chewing off those two, three, four-yard chunks, and that's going to be a steady ground game if you can keep it up all night. Keep two or three yards every time you run the ball, you'll eventually find a first down. Clock control and ground control is going to be a key tonight for the Mustangs in this game. Mustangs come up to the line here. Third and we're going to call it third and four here. 
I formation again, Bingham in the backfield, uh, tailed by DeWalt. Now it's going to be a handoff to DeWalt off the left side. Got a couple yards, stumble behind Bingham there. But it's going to bring up an early fourth down for the Mustangs. A little late on the handoff, we had a Republic County defender come in on the quarterback uh, to help him up after the fact, but uh, knocked him down there and forced the little bit quicker move than he had anticipated making. Play just didn't seem right for the Mustangs, honestly, from the get-go. Don't know if there was a little miscommunication there or a little disruptive by the buffs. But we have fourth down here and three yards to go. A big fourth down early on in the game for the Mustangs, driving into Republic County territory now. Working left to right, Valley Heights is going to come in with three in the backfield, but we're going to get a time out here, and we're going to take it as well. Republic County leading eight to nothing. We'll be right back on Prairie Valley Veterinary Clinic at Blue Rapids offers large and small animal veterinary services, boarding, grooming, pet foods, and all of your animal health supplies. Keep your animals, small or large, healthy with Doctors Musil and Doctor Lang at the Prairie Valley Veterinary Clinic in Blue Rapids. See them today, or give them a call. Prairie Valley Veterinary Clinic, offering veterinary services, boarding, grooming, pet foods, and all of your animal health supplies. Mom, I'm hungry. Can we stop at the Route 77 corner store? Sure. I need gas anyway, and I can save money on that using my DinoPay app. Awesome. Okay, I want Hunt Brothers Pizza, one of their ice cream treats, maybe a shake or a cone from here in Blue Rapids. Then we need to go to Waterville because I want some of their fried chicken and fish that's hand-breaded daily. Oh, and don't forget the chicken strips. Whoa, you can eat all that? You underestimate my appetite as a teenage boy. I guess we'll be stopping at the Route 77 corner stores in Blue Rapids and Waterville. Oh, I need a candy bar too. Valley Heights back here with an early fourth down test against the Republic County Buffaloes, trailing eight to nothing. It's going to go on the end around, going to get a first down for the Mustangs. I believe that was Caden and Dummermuth that brought the pitch around here to the near side. Wow, he got off like a rocket, and it was that quick start that got him a first down because he ran into defenders before he knew it, uh, kind of stumbled forward. They marked his initial progress there at the 40 yard line. He gathered another yard or so, but it doesn't count doesn't matter first down on the fourth down conversion a big first down and we're already seeing that option play run by valley heights fake that handoff to the fullback bingham and then just let your little quick ends get on the outside and pick up some yardage for you so the drive continues here with the mustangs three running backs in the backfield it's going to be a power sweep to the right side and stop for no gain good gain tackle there by the republic county buffaloes yeah, that one went nowhere. I'm not sure if it uh, developed late or what the situation was, and I almost had a sense that ball wanted to squirt loose the way the pile came. Get all those players reaching for the ball. Valley Heights had a crowded backfield there with three running backs, and the quarterback gets a little confusing at times and making sure not to cause the fumble. Somehow got a yard out of it. A yard is better than nothing right now. It's going to bring up another long second and nine for the Mustangs here, but they have held the ball. Republic County came out early on two big Colin Dahl runs, got the early 8 nothing lead. Valley Heights is looking to answer back here with a methodical drive themselves. Hurry up to the line. It's going to be second and nine. Shakes under center. It's going to be a pitch to the outside with Jaden DeWald. He's going to rumble for a few yards there, give him about four, and it's going to bring up another third down and five for the Mustangs. Valley Heights taking advantage, really running it to the right side, maybe thinking they have an advantage here offensively, running to the right side of that offensive line. Brings up a third down and medium, we'll call it third and five. Another big play for the Valley Heights Mustangs. Just under four minutes left here to go in the first quarter. It's going to be high formation for the Mustangs. Bingham and DeWall in the backfield, and he's going to be stopped for no gain. Yeah, it was another situation where that field might be a little bit wet. Shanks was out there, couldn't get the pivot off the left foot, lost maybe just about a foot, foot and a half, but uh, it, it didn't materialize. That center of the field, we kind of looking at it before, it it looks a little, we talked about it, no rain, but it looks a little wet. Grass looks just a little slick out there so far early on the game, seeing a few players lose their feet, going to be something to keep an eye on as this game progresses. Makes it tough. Uh, you gain a yard instead of lose a yard. You're at fourth and four here at fourth and a long five. 
Going to be a tough play for the Mustangs. Fourth and long five at the Republic County 35. Got a pass out right side. It's going to be done removed down the right side. Dunn breaks the tackle. Touchdown, Mustang. Good pass there by quarterback Malik Shanks. Max Shanks, excuse me, found a streaking Caden, Caden Dummermuth across the middle, and Dummermuth did the rest of the work up the right side for a Valley Heights Mustang touchdown. That was a beauty, and that was a gamble. That's the first pass here tonight. You do it on a fourth and five. That was a pretty big gamble, but after all those run plays, able to suck that defense in and get the ball up in the air and able for a touchdown. Mustang's going to line up for two here on the far end zone. It's going to be Shanks going to give it off to DeWalt. He's on a rumble close, but and he's good, actually. DeWalt goes in for the two-point conversion. So we have an 8-8 ball game here as the Mustangs take on the Republic County Buffaloes. Just three minutes left here in the first quarter. We'll be right back on KNDY. Everybody is wanting to reduce, reuse, and recycle. How about reducing the amount of money leaving your bank account every month? With income-based living and reduced cable bill costs for everyone, Waterville Housing Authority is your housing partner. Enjoy maintenance-free, comfortable living in one- or two-bedroom apartments. Check out their Facebook page or call 785-363-2239. That's 785-363-2239. Get the good stuff. Superior quality at competitive prices. It's right around the corner at your Napa Auto Parts store, Blue Rapids Auto and Hardware. Napa has over 310,000 parts and accessories for auto, truck, farm, and small engines. Plus, all Napa brand parts are backed by a national warranty program. Need answers or advice? Just ask the friendly parts professionals at Napa at Blue Rapids Auto and Hardware. They're ready to help. Get the good stuff. Quality you can trust at prices you can afford at Napa Auto Parts, Blue Rapids Auto and Hardware. Each team scores their first possession. Valley Heights 10 play drive went 62 yards right at six minutes. Valley Heights kicking it off. A short little kick right up the middle taken by the Buffaloes. Working right to left. Got a hole now for the Buffs and he's going to go right up the middle. Touchdown Republic County Buffs on the second kickoff of the game. That is going to be Austin Scrivener for the Republic County touchdown. Took it from about the 30-yard line, I would say, of the bus and just right up the middle. Kicked it right to him. There was no defense on that play for the Valley Heights Mustangs on that kickoff. Stiver just able to find a hole, use his speed, and away we go. Talked about it a little earlier. Republic County not the biggest team, but they do have some team speed, and it's shown off the first two drives so far for them. So, Valley Heights Mustangs answered back for Republic County's early score, but Republic County gets it right back on a 70-yard kickoff return. They're going to go for two-point conversion, scrambling around as Republic County, and it's going to be good. Dahl found Melton in the back of the end zone as the two-point conversion is good for the Republic County Buffs. Buffs stretch at 16-8 to on just under three minutes left to go here in the first quarter. We will be right back on KNDY. My Sister's Closet Boutique in Waterville has all you need for your wardrobe this season. They specialize in the latest fashion trends. Don't get caught in last year's style. Stop in and refresh your wardrobe with all your favorite team colors. Stock your closet with cute, comfortable, trendy, and affordable options. Hurry to MSC today or start your shopping online at MySistersClosetKansas.com. Big city style with small town service. Come and spend a day at MSC in Waterville. If you're looking for a car, truck, van, or SUV, look no further than Mustang Motors in Blue Rapids. They have a great inventory. You're sure to find what you're looking for. And if you don't see it, Colby will help you find it. And they don't sell anything they don't warranty. But if you do need repairs further down the road, they have a full-service department and a mechanic available. Plus, Mustang Motors has a full-service professional detailing service. So stop by and see or check them out at MustangMotorsKS.com. That's Mustang Motors in Blue Rapids. Back here under Friday Night Lights as the Valley Heights Mustangs take on the Republic County Buffaloes. Buffs hold an early 16-8 to lead just directly after before we took a break. Buffs returned the kickoff 70 yards for the early score. Quick, quick, quick has been the Buffs offense so 
far tonight. Valley Heights looking to answer, getting the ball back here on their second possession of the night. Bust kick it off down the middle, a little squib kick again. It's going to be taken at about the 15-yard line by the Mustangs, and he is stopped tough there by the Republic County Buffaloes at about the 23-yard line. Good return there by Jaden Dewalt of the Mustangs, but just wasn't able to catch the edge on the left side and find a seam to take it back for more. Boy, once he met a defender, he felt that too. I mean, he really popped him there. Defenders flew all the way here from the near side and met Dewalt about the 22-yard line, and that is where the Mustangs are going to start now. Excuse me, 27-yard line is where the Mustangs are going to start their second drive of the night, trailing Republic County 16-8. to Early on in the game, 2.48 left in the first quarter. It's going to be a give to, I believe, the tailback Dewalt for a couple up the middle. Going to call it now second and eight. Methodical, run the ball, pound the ball is the motto for the Valley Heights Mustangs. Held the ball for a lot in that first quarter, came away with points. Going to need to be able to do the same thing tonight if Republic County is able to strike just as fast as they have early on in this game. Mustangs coming up to the line here. Quarterback Max Shanks under center with Fullback being behind him and Jaden DeWalt. Now there's some movement on the line, and that's going to be a false start on the Mustangs. Move them back five yards. A young team, we hit on it early on in the game. A young team on both sides, those mental mistakes are something that can't happen for either side of this team if they want to build. Going on into this year, of course, Valley Heights coming off a tough loss last week on homecoming, looking to get their momentum back going on into the season. So now we've got second and 14 for the Mustangs at their own 20-yard line. It's going to be a run here, a right side for, I'm going to give it about seven, going to get back to the original line of scrimmage there for DeWalt. It's going to bring up another third and long for the Mustangs. DeWalt got back what they lost on the penalty flag. Shooting yourself in the foot with that penalty flag for sure. Could have been five yards ahead of the sticks. Now you're five yards behind. Third and long for the Mustangs here. Ball center of the field. 130 left to go here in the first quarter. Mustangs going to split three out right wide here. One running back in the backfield is DeWalt. Tight end left side. Ball snapped to Shanks in the pocket. Shanks flush. Steps up. Tries to find a passer. Cannot. That rush of Republic County got to quarterback Max Shanks before he knew what he could do with. Kind of interesting, when I looked at Shanks, it almost appeared he was looking left, and he had his three receivers off right, so I don't know if they were trying to counter and find something else that I wasn't anticipating, but they had no opportunity to connect. And the sack came after two Republic defensive linemen came free on the snap, kind of threw everything off from the beginning. So it's going to be the Mustangs back here to punt. There's going to be pressure. It's going to be DeWalt getting it off. Punt up to the 50. It's going to take a nice Valley Heights roll. Roll down to about the 40-yard line of the bus, and that's where the ball's going to sit. We're going to take a timeout. Buffalo's up 16-8. to 8, 38 seconds left here in the fourth, fourth, first quarter. We'll be back on KNDY. If any of your family members meow, bark, squeak, chew, dig, squawk, claw, play dead, or fetch, you need Dr. Porter and the Blue River Veterinary Clinic in Waterville. Dr. Porter is dedicated to the wellness and health care of your small animal pets, offering vaccinations and wellness checks, boarding, dentistry, emergency care, grooming, surgery, and radiology with her full-service clinic. A healthy pet is a happy pet, and a happy pet means a happy home. Call today for your appointment, 363-2222. Back here as the Valley Heights Mustangs take off the Republic County Buffaloes. Buffaloes with their third possession, second drive of the game as they were able to get an early kickoff return for a touchdown. Brought this lead out to 16-8. to Mustangs just punted it away here. Ball is on the 45-yard line of the Buffs. 13 seconds here. Looks like Republic County is going to be content taking it into the quarter. So, going at the end of the first quarter, Republic County is leading the Valley Heights Mustangs on two good Colin Dahl runs and a kickoff return for a touchdown and a pass from Shanks to Dunmermuth on the other end. We'll be right back on KNDY. 
Raise your hand if you need more internet speed. It's time to get your hands on much faster internet. Don't settle for yesterday's internet speed when you have a home full of today's devices. Upgrade your Blue Valley Technologies internet speed now to the speed you need and get a $50 bill credit. If you're new to Blue Valley, you get two months free and everyone gets free installation on managed Wi-Fi. Visit bluevalley.net forward slash raise your hand today. Dane's Automotive and Tire in Waterville and Marysville is your reliable automotive repair shop. Servicing engines and transmissions, ACs, radiators, exhausts, and diagnostic checks. Did you know Dane's does tires? Carrying all major brands and sizes from trucks, ATVs, trailer, and farm implements, Dane's Automotive and Tire has you covered. With over 85 years combined experience, your locally owned and trusted repair and tire shop is Dane's Automotive and Tire in Waterville and Marysville. Mustang football live on Key Indy YFM 95.5 on air, online, and on our mobile app. Big thank you to our sponsors on the broadcast tonight. And a reminder, tune for area scores on the Farm Bureau Insurance School Board Show twice each night. Game nights on Key Indy Y. Early game action, Mustangs trailing Republic County 16-8 to here as the Buffs take their third possession of the ball. It's going to be a sprint out right for quarterback Melton for the Buffs. He's going to get about 15 on that run, a naked bootleg to the left for Melton. No one over there as he picks up a first down for the Republic County Buffaloes. Caught him looking the other way that time. He was off, made a wide sweep far side, and he's into, into Mustang territory. Got that whole Mustang defense flowing to the left, kept that ball bootleg to the opposite side, runs it up for about 15. Moves it across the field into Mustang territory now, setting at about the Mustangs 44-yard line. Mustangs defense needing to get a stop, get the ball back to the offense, trailing 16-8 to here. It's going to be Dahl up the middle again, hopping over a player or two, stretching out at the end, reaching about four yards. Hard fight into the thick of it. Wasn't a lot of gain there. Didn't get a great spot either. Moved it back even a little bit there after the spot was given. Going to give up, a, bring up about two and seven is what we're going to call it. A long three he gave it there. Ball some tough running early on for the Buffaloes between the tackles. Able to take a few outside, but so far... Able to control this line for the Mustangs has been the line of Republic County's offense. Mustangs trying to get a stop here. It's going to be quarterback Melton under center, and we have another penalty flag on the field. All start on the Republic County Buffaloes. March them back five yards. Each team now with two false start penalties on the game. Talked about it earlier, a young team. Those mistakes are going to happen tonight. A lot of whistles. They've, they've all been to the shorter variety, at least. No long ones, five-yard variety. Keeping it short, keeping it nice. Republic County working a little clock here. 10.50 left to go in the second quarter, leading 16-8. to eight. On a nice kickoff return touchdown in the first quarter. Really opened this game open for the Republic County Buffaloes. Swung the momentum on their side. Valley Heights not able to get it back so far. Guess what? We have another penalty. And this will be a delay of game on the Republic County Buffaloes. Didn't seem like they took that much time. They were, as you said, they're... They're not in a hurry at this mm-hmm. point in the ball game, and I thought they managed it pretty well, but evidently not quite enough. Neither team really in a hurry running the ball offensively, but taking their time here is Republic County early on in the game. Republic County going to split two here, right side motion, a running back over to the other side. Is it a run left side behind Sasser? It's going to be the quarterback, Melton, going up for, oh, we'll give it, couple yards, three, maybe four yards on that run for the quarterback, Trey Milton, along the left side. Here's where you got to watch that quarterback. He's got the ball, and he's he's heading to the far side, so you've got to go with him. Didn't seem like the Valley Heights defense reacted as quickly as you might like. No damage done, but it gave him some room to run to the far sideline. On those outside runs, just as Bruce alluded to, either the sweeps or the bootlegs that they've been running, defense needs to be a little more assertive, a little bit quicker on their toes. So far, looking like they're stuck in the mud, even though there's been no rain down here at Valley Heights so far today. Defense looking to get a stop. Ball split dead middle, 50-yard line. 
third and about 15 for the Republic County Buffaloes trying to get set up here. Clock already going. Referee in the backfield motioning. It's going to be a sweep here near side. It's going to be Dell trying to find the edge and unable to get the stop there. Valley Heights did a good job defensively just talking about being quick to the ball. About four defenders there to gang tackle Dahl. Well, I think the Republic County shot themselves in the foot. They shifted off to the left. They're on the far side hash mark, and there were guys over there still moving, if, if we will, at the snap. Not enough to get a penalty flag, but not enough to develop the play they wanted. Wasn't able to get set, and a big, there we go again, another mistake maybe by some younger players not set on the initial staff. Valley Heights gets the stop with the chance to cut into this lead. Snap goes over the head of, of the kicker, and he's going to land on it. Good job, I guess, by the Mustangs to get back to the punter there as they will take over in great field position. Trey Melton, he took a bad snap. Snap came out high. Wasn't anything he could do but get back on the football. Going to give the Mustangs excellent field position here. Good job by Melton on that kick by just covering up the ball, getting on top of it, and not preventing any further damage to happen for the Buffs. But a great opportunity now as the Mustangs go into their offensive set. It's going to be I with Bigham and DeWalt in the backfield. Max Shanks under center. It's going to go to Bigham off the right side, and he is stopped. So far, that center part of that Valley Heights line not getting a lot of movement. Of course, we have mentioned a somewhat smaller line up front, too, for both of these teams. Movement and speed is going to be a key in this game and not really going to run too much power. Going to try, but we'll see how that goes on in the game. Public County leads so far 16-8, to just under nine minutes left here to go in the second quarter. Valley Heights started with great field position, not wanting to squander it here already on the 35-yard line of the bus. It's going to be Shanks under center with the eye of Bigham and Dewall. Bigham right up the middle, about four or five yards there. So, going to keep trying to hand it off to Bigham right up the middle, right behind the center and that left guard. Got more than I thought he would at first because there was uh, quite a few buffs up on the, on the front of the defensive line, but uh, Bigham manages to put his shoulder pads down and work it forward for pretty nice pickup. How many times have I said this already? A big third down play for the Mustangs coming up here. Third and five. It's going to be a fake Bigham. It's going to be Shanks keeping the ball. Had the pitch. Decided to keep it, and he's going to be short. Got a few yards out of it, but here we are in four down territory. Fourth and about three is what I'm going to go with. It's going to be close here for the Mustangs. Let's see what Coach Trimble wants to do early on in this game. How about that, Shanks? Had uh, double coverage there. He had two defenders, but they they actually kind of carried him forward for that two-yard pickup. Able to sneak out an extra yard or two thanks to the motion of the defenders with the tackle on there. So big fourth down for the Mustangs here. Let's see what they can do early on in this game. Mustangs line up three backs in the backfield, Biggin, Dewald, and Dummermuth. It's going to be off the right side is Dewald, and he got the first down. Good run there by sophomore Jaden Dewald behind the right side of that offensive line for the Mustangs. Looks like Mustangs are going to go quick here, trying to change the tempo of the Buffaloes. Nice run by Dewalt. That was a nice gamble on fourth down. Shanks under center here for the Mustang. Pitch goes right side to Dewald again, and we have a flag. Looked like a false start on the Mustang. So, I guess a good idea there by Coach Trimble, trying to run a little tempo there, catch the buffs, I guess, out of sorts on defense. But you can't run a play if you shoot yourself in the foot with a five-yard false start penalty. That nasty P word. We've heard it way too much already tonight. Six penalty total between both teams already, judging to my count. And that really just kind of kills the momentum Valley Heights had there. A good fourth down pickup on a long fourth and four. A good run off the right side. understand you want to try and keep the momentum going, but need to have positive yardage and not negative yardage with this young team. Yeah, it gives the defense just a little bit of a chance to catch their breath. You're not forcing it down in the red zone. But uh, still, still a workable field position. The Mustangs can connect something here looking to punch it into the end zones are the mustangs here it's going to be give left side to big and big and breaks a hole gets a good run there by big 
be a carry of about 10 yards for the junior. Cason Bigham with a nice run there by the big boy up the middle. So far, Republic County's linebackers have been doing a good job of game tackling and meeting them at the point of attack, but that time, big and able to find some room and exploit that here on the left side of the Mustang offensive line. Ball up to the bus. We'll give it them their 21 right now. It's going to be a busted play, and Shanks is just going to snap, salvage all he can off of that one. That play was almost doomed from the beginning. Yeah, he had... He had the potential to hand it off. I think wisely, though, step, stayed on top of it. Don't want to force an unforced turnover here, especially this deep in the red zone, setting at the 20-yard line for the buffs. And that's something you have to learn and teach with a young team is making sure everyone's in the right position when they need to be there. Mustangs looking to score here, trailing 16-8, to 5.50 left to go here in the second quarter. Knocking on the doorsteps of Republic County are the Mustangs. It's going to be Shanks up the middle, and we have another penalty flag on the far side. False start, I believe it's going to be on the Mustangs again. And it is. Step the Mustangs back five yards again. Going to move them back to the 25. Bruce, I feel like they've been at the 25-yard line for about six minutes now. Yeah, it seems to be a range, doesn't it? Three steps forward, two steps back. Kind of a free-throw shooter that can't make a shot. They say there's a lid on a basket in basketball. Well, there's a wall at about the 20-yard line for the Mustangs here tonight. Not able to get past it. Going to be third and about 11. We're going to call it 12, actually, for the Mustangs. Looking to get some momentum back here. Trailing early, six to eight, or 16 to 8, excuse me. It's going to be shakes under center. We're going to go left side and a little sweep. Sneaks forward for about four or five yards there, but not much is Dummermuth. A good run there by the sophomore, Caden Dummermuth, but just not able to sneak away from the hands of the linebacker from Republic County. Has some open space here on the left side, able to break that one, but that's one maybe in a couple years the sophomore is able to power through. All right, you're facing a fourth and a long eight here. I, I would totally go for it, but... Wouldn't you rather be in a fourth and two? Five-yard penalty. And, of course, last time Valley Heights down on this end. The other end went with a little play-action pass. Let's see what they're going to do here. They're going to play-action pass. Shanks going to roll out right, and big loss. Quarterback Max Shanks met in the backfield by that Republic County defense, number 56, Ryan Bevers. Yeah, I was gonna. I was trying to track him down. I'm glad you did because the six-one, 195-pound senior deserves a ton of credit. He came on hard. He came on fast, and he schooled the youngster. He did. Swallowed up all six foot of the Max Shakes frame. So Valley Heights not able to punch it in here. Going to turn it over on down. Public County though with a long field. Just under five minutes left to go here in the second quarter. Valley Heights needing a stop. Not needing Republic County to get another score here before we go into halftime. Going to be a run right side here by Dahl, and he's stopped up by the Mustang line. So a good start for this drive defensively by that defensive line of the Mustangs. Yeah, right there's your read, and that's the way you want to establish defense. You want to follow that football. You want to stay on top of it, and you can't allow them to chew up those big chunks of yardage they've done on a handful of occasions already tonight. Mustangs, we've mentioned it, not that big on the defensive line. Mr. Megan Martin is holding down the nose guard for the Mustangs, all five foot five of him. So it's going to be big defensive line for the backers of the Mustangs to come up and gang tackle tonight. Probably kind of got the Mustangs in a little bit of a hizzy defensively. Going to go two wide here, near side, split out one left. It's going to be an option play, left, right side here to Dahl, and he's going to be stopped in the backfield. That was a great defensive play there by Caden Dummermuth. Come on up. Following football, that's, that's what I just said, and that's what they did. He scooted in all the way from the other side, but they stayed with him. And once that pitch was made, the defenders were ready to make contact. It was a good job, too, by defensive lineman Tyrell Wagner as well to stop the quarterback on the option pitch, allow Dummermuth to come up and swallow up that running back. 
Sets them back now, third and 11 for the bus. A big defensive stop here for the Mustangs. 3.35 left here to go before halftime. Mustangs trailing Republic County 16-8 to on this early season game. It's going to be a fake pitch run left side. It's going to be, excuse me here, Bryce Sasser all the way to the left side. Going to pick up a few, but bring up a fourth down for the bus. So there offensively, Buffs tried to play a little trickery, not able to bite on it was the Mustang defense. We have a timeout on the field. We'll take it as well. We'll be right back here on KNDY. Turn to Cottage Hill Egg Supply in Waterville when you need to take your crops to the next level. Start with top quality channel seed complete with treatments and delivery. Precision planting equipment gives you optimum seed spacing, singulation, and depth control. Kilbro seed tenders are dependable for delivering seed to the field and planter. And Darren carries sprayer parts, fertilizer parts, and Conklin ag products so you have the best growing season ever. Grow your best with Cottage Hill Ag Supply. At the beginning of every crop year, you get only one chance to get it right. Start your season off with a seed you can trust. Plant DeKalb Astro. They have a full range of products that have proven themselves year after year. Parker Seed can provide the right seed for your environmental conditions. There's no room for error. Call Parker Seed to start your season off right. When you call Todd Parker, he'll put his knowledge and experience to work to help you make the right choices. Call today, 562-6687. That's 562-6687. Back here on 95.5 KNDY as the Valley Heights Mustangs take on the Republic County Buffaloes. An early test here for the Mustangs. It's going to be, looks like, what a punt for the Buffs. And they do snap it. But we have another one of those yellow hinkies on the field. False start by the Republic County Buffaloes. I won't go so far as to say almost a comedy of errors, but uh, it has been such here tonight. Republic County didn't get a snap off that last time. Flew high over the uh, punter's head, and that's where Valley Heights took possession. They'd sure like to repeat. Wanting to bring the pressure here, snap low, but punt able to get away this time for Republic County as it's going to swing on out of bounds about the 45-yard line, about midfield is where the Mustangs will take over on their third drive. That was a whole lot better snap, maybe a little bit on the low side, about knee high, but uh, we saw Milton handle it well, and He's just shy of 30 yards on a pretty nice punt, but the Mustangs still in their own territory. Was a good flip of field position there as the Mustangs will start at their own 46 here, moving right to left. The Mustangs with 3-10 left here to try and even this game up before halftime. Of course, Republic County opened it up early with a Colin Dow run and then able to get a kickoff return for a touchdown. Valley Heights answered back with a Max Shanks to Dummermuth pass for a touchdown early on in the second quarter. First play of this drive goes for about seven there for the Mustangs as they move it across midfield now, looking to gain some momentum, try and find another score before we sneak on into halftime. Working with a little urgency now is this Mustang offense as they split Dummermuth near side wide, Bigham in the backfield with DeWalt. It's going to be Bigham just plowing right ahead. There's no other way to describe it. He runs with his head and shoulders down, keeps those legs turning, takes some players with him. A big powerful run to get a first down for the Mustangs as they hurry up. 2.38 left here to go in the second quarter. Mustangs need to be diligent. Last time they tried, hurry up. They got a false start. It's going to be big and again. Same play, same spot, same side. Only going to be able to sneak out about two yards on that run. That brings up a second and eight. Yeah, I'm okay with the hurry-up offense, but it does create uh, threats of its own. Moving quickly again now here, 2.15 left to go in halftime. Valley Heights on the 40 of Republic County. It's going to be big and again, left side, same play, same spot. It's going to move it up to third and five now. Valley Heights working this clock, got to keep an eye on it, in decent field position, but almost looking to need to take a shot. Real quick play here, under two minutes left to go. Bigot and DeWalt in the backfield again. Snap goes to Shanks. Fakes to Bigham. Shanks going to keep it around. Left side, Shanks gets all the way to the 30-yard line of the Buffaloes and gets a first down for the Mustangs. It's going to be close, and they're going to give it to him. Good job there by Shanks. Keeping the ball, of course, kept running it with Bigham up the middle the last couple plays 
faked it to him, kept it around the edge, able to just get a first down and a new set of downs. That's what they were looking here. 144 left to go here in the second half. Mustangs moving on the 30-yard line of Republic County, but this is where Valley Heights had trouble with last drive. Got about the 25-yard line, not able to get it past there. It's going to be a three-running back set here for the Mustangs as the ball's going to go right side to DeWald. He's going to plow forward for about three yards. Clock's continuing to run. Valley Heights looking to... Get hurry up, back up to the line. No huddle here. Mustangs move it up to the 37 of Republic County. A little confusion here between Coach Trimble and Shanks. Play got the right one called in. Got to make sure everyone is set. Don't need any penalties. It's going to go right up to middle to Bigham again. Get about two on that one, and it looks like Coach Trimble is going to take a timeout. We're going to take it with him. 109 left. Valley Heights trailing 16 to 8 here on KNDY. When you're a producer, you got to keep growing and keep the machinery in gear. You can't have a lot of downtime while you're waiting for parts or repairs, no matter what the equipment is. If your machinery is holding you back, talk to us. We can offer you loan options that make sense for your ag business and get you back in gear. Citizen State Bank, Marysville, Waterville, and Hanover. Member FDIC. We're just making a living, making things grow. Landall Company's success story continues to be written by their loyal and dedicated team members. Landall congratulates their employees on another successful year with an incentive bonus of 12.76% or 6.64 weeks of pay. With many career opportunities available, Landall offers career advancement, stable employment, and benefits that include profit sharing, $2 per hour shift differential, 4% attendance bonus, fuel allowance, comprehensive health insurance, and much more. Start your new chapter at Landall today. Apply online at landall.com, an equal opportunity employer, welcoming vets and disabilities. Back here live on 95.5 as the Valley Heights Mustangs looking to move it here against the Republic County Buffaloes. It's going to be Bigham up the middle left side. Got about four yards out of that play, but they're going to call it three. Pushed back there was the big boy. Of course, just under a minute left here. It ball's going to be on the 25 of Republic County. Mustangs taking time here to huddle up. 50 seconds running. Let's see what Shanks and Coach Trimble have in their pocket now. 45 seconds left to go in the half. Ball sets at the 25. It is fourth and five, so last chance for the Mustangs. Last chance for Romance here before we go into halftime for the Valley Heights Mustangs. It's going to be Shanks under center. He's going to fake it to Big Fake it to Dummer Moose. Shanks rolls right and stopped again. Valley Heights just not able to run some play-action class tonight and keep Shanks clean in the backfield. Another senior, Colin Dahl, gave him the quarterback sack. I like the play call. It was really the only thing you could do, but uh, Shanks didn't have any time to move. Colin Dahl with the QB sack. And that is kind of the, I don't want to call problem, but situation you find if you are Valley Heights. 30 seconds left. You've been running. It was big and pretty effectively, but just those play-action pass, not able to keep the quarterback clean so far. So Republic County is going to take over at their own about 35-yard line. 20 seconds left here. Republic County goes left. It's going to be a fake forward pass. We're going to call it incomplete. We'll stop the clock. A little funky play there. Quarterback... Excuse me, quarterback Trey Melton was going to get tackled for a loss for the Buffs and kind of just flung it forward at the feet of his running back to save some yardage. Yeah, that was Cullen Dahl. Would have, would have been in range. It wasn't an entirely bad salvage situation, but didn't work out. So it brings up second down now, 24 seconds left here in the game. Each team with a timeout, I believe. Public County is going to... Step back and now run a draw up the middle with quarterback Melton. Valley Heights gets the stop after a game of five yards. Clock still running. 15 seconds to go in the rest of this half. And it looks like that's going to be our score going into halftime. Republic County is going to be content with that. I want to give credit. Junior Cason, Cason Bigham, he, he tripped up the quarterback. I uh, wouldn't say he could have gone all the way, but that was an important stop there. Now what? So clocks hit zeros, yet we still have some confusion here. Republic County looked very content to take this lead into half. Of course, Republic County leading 16-8 to eight going here into half. 
Mustangs. Mustangs were halfway to the locker room. Republic County stayed out there in the huddle, and the officials are indicating maybe there's one more play left. The only thing I could think of is Republic County took a timeout going uh, into. Perhaps, perhaps. Again, they had complete confidence that they should stay on the field. Uh-huh. Yeah, they did not move one so bad. Valley Heights decided to head off into the locker room. It's a conundrum out there. Not, it's been a sloppy game so far in the first half. I think they'll bring an explanation over to Cody Tremble. By the way, Tony Tremble, uh, first-year coach now at Marysville, leading Concordia 7-0. Uh, don't have the progress on that. It's on our sister station, Jason Prediger and Brian Crock with a call on AM 1570 FM 94.1. On air online, radio.com and on our mobile app. Marysville won its three starts this season, hoping to turn the tide with Concordia. Concordia hadn't had a real strong season, so that should be a dandy 7-0 Marysville. I expect there in the second quarter as well. Valley Heights Mustangs trail the Republic County Buffaloes here, though. 16-8 going into right here at half. It looked like we had a false start on someone before a play was called. Not quite for sure what. Well, here's Republic County. The officials haven't settled anything. There's two conferences out there, one with the, the Valley Heights coach on this near side, and the other three officials are out there talking to shop. And uh, the Buffs, the, they are ready to come to the line. They were going to go ahead and run a play whether they were given permission or not. They kind of had to back them off a little bit. I, I just don't know what we're debating here. Um, either you had a situation where they've got one more play or you didn't, mm -hmm. and I'm not sure if they're even convinced that they're going to go one direction. And it almost signaled like they were, and it looks like they're marching the ball back here on the buff, so possibly a... Well, a, a penalty. Now, we didn't see it, but in the middle of it earlier, I did see some sort of a symbol for a procedure call, and if that were a situation, maybe you do have one more snap left. I don't know why it took quite so long to sort it out, but it did, and we'll march it back to the 30-yard line, and, and I guess play one more snap before intervention. We'll have one more snap here before we decide to go to halftime. After that got situated, ball will be at the 30 of the bus as they have one more play here to go before they go into halftime. Melton is going to step back. He's going to throw over the middle. Ball is caught. Ball is down the middle. It's going to be priced till about the Mustang 40-yard line. But, boy, that was close for the Mustang. That just almost took your breath away, didn't it? That just almost took your breath away. Cameron Price did a nice job. He kind of kicked a defender out of the way. There were several Mustangs in 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 pursuit, and uh, he would he would bump one out of the way. And we're going to leave 15 seconds on the clock, so they put some time back on the clock. That wasn't the last snap of the half, and we're still not out of here. So we will have the ball at the Mustangs, I believe, 34. Five yard line here for Republic County as they have 14 seconds left to go. 14-9. I don't know how how we got that much time back on the clock, unless they were indicating they they started the clock too early. But all we can do is guess, and that's probably not to, not a wise way to call a game. <laughs> we like to call what we see in front of our eyes, and I guess what we saw was just a nice pass there by the Republic County Buffaloes to move it closer to a touchdown here right before. We go into halftime. As it is, you know, Valley Heights feels they'd be halfway through the halftime uh, uh, talk in the, in the locker room, but they're going to have to go through at least another snap or two. Um, Republic County managing their time well, and they are determined to make something out of nothing here. And that is tough on a team and as a coach because you think you've already ran off the field you're ready to go into halftime then to come out to try and play another play and then republic county smartly takes a shot down the field the first pass well second or third pass in attempt of the game for republic county but able to complete a pass down the middle and move it into valley heights territory so with 15 seconds left there is a chance Where's that field mic like they have in the big leagues, right? And the official explained to the uh, to the fans, the broadcasters, uh, what is going on here. Unfortunately, I guess we'll just have to see what's going on with our eyes. 
and we'll go from there. 15 seconds left. Buffs get a chance here. A ball on the 35 of the Mustang. Buffs moving, moving left to right. It's going to be a quick pass play here near side for Republic County. Going to take the screen up to about the 30-yard line. Going to be stopped. Got one more timeout. Do the Buffs. Montana Martin, just a freshman, made a nice tackle on the receiver there. Held him from a first down. Republic County trying to move quickly here. Uh, seven seconds left here. Able to get about five yards off that last play. We'll bring up second and about four downs. Not really pertain here with the amount of time left in the half. But Republic County does have a chance to extend their lead here early on. Right before halftime, they are leading 16-8. to eight. Credit to Jesse Hodgson, the Republic County coach, for having these timeouts to work with. Uh, this really has allowed them one two, three opportunities, if not more. This will be about the fourth play that they have ran after we thought the game was over and going into halftime. So, yeah, good job by Coach getting his team prepared and ready for this situation. And the team is executing two as well. And that's the other side. On the defensive side of the ball for the Mustangs, you need to be alert for just about everything in this instance. Last play there, we saw a wide receiver screen play before, a slot right up the middle to the tight end. What is that, a bonus timeout? They've been over there forever. We had a timeout earlier that seemed to take about two seconds. This one finally breaks the huddle. Republic County does. They're going to come out 7.6 left here. Chance for, I believe, one more play before we go into halftime. Republic County drops back. It's going to be Melton back pass. He's on a fire. Far side, left side. Ball is thrown incomplete, but we've got some pass interference. On the far side. Ball actually ends up in the hands of the Mustangs. Number 40, Logan Gray, was out there. But we're going to have a pass interference. As they were just not able to get their head around and locate the ball. And if you've watched college or if you've watched pros, sometimes they just throw it up. And all of this in the Mustangs' minds should not be happening. This is just kind of a bad dream right now. They, again, were heading to the locker room four plays back, and you've got a, a quarterback who hasn't shown pass all night and all of a sudden has kind of a, a rifle pass downfield and gets right into the neighborhood with a couple defenders that weren't quite where they should have been. Now we've got another Republic County timeout, still another opportunity, but there's no time left on the clock. Let's sort this one out and that and that one was tough because the flag was thrown in the goal or i guess in the end zone and so the ball automatically moves up to the one yard line of the mustang and you know if you watch college ball if you watch pro ball you've heard the saying just throw it up to the offensive player and try and get a pass interference call and republic county sure did so republic county in the span of hard to believe it 17 seconds has moved almost 60 yards thanks to some timely timeouts by Coach and some also strange plays, I guess, would be the best way to describe it heading here into half. This is a more uh, curious, uh, you know, couple of minutes, I guess, tail end of a first half than I've seen maybe, maybe ever. <laughs> In a long time. Now, for the Mustangs, you have to turn around and get set very quickly because the ball, I guess, will be on the 15 on their side, Republic County 15 yards away from sneaking out and getting a touchdown now before we go into half. For Valley Heights, can't can't let it happen. That would, if they were to give up a touchdown here, momentum would be 100% on the side of the Buffs. So the Buffs are going to line up. We're going to go fake pass. We're going to fling it left and no one out there. Far side, it's going to be caught, but out of bounds. No good on the touchdown try by the Republic County Buffaloes. Great stand by the Mustangs. Yeah, I like that defensive reaction. Uh, they didn't put uh, a whole lot of pressure up front when they have three-man front, mm -hmm. but uh, it did have one bit of pressure on the quarterback, but he was still able to get a pretty good launch off. Fortunately, if we will, for the local fans, it was overthrown and out of bounds. But, wow, how did all that how did all that happen? All that happened within football. 17 seconds. It is football. It is at that at the end of the day. Republic County still hasn't left the field yet. Though. They're just determined to stay out there, aren't they? they, they but the officials are leaving. I guess that must be the sign then. I guess we are going into halftime. So we are going to sneak away for halftime here. Republic County Buffaloes lead the Valley Heights Mustangs 16-8 to here on KNDY Radio. What do you do when the unexpected happens? 
You may wonder what's next. Who do I call? What should I do? Christy Anders Funeral Home is here to support you through this phase of life by providing support and personal services while helping you create a beautiful and unique tribute for your loved ones. Christy Anders Funeral Home is family owned and operated and proud to offer affordable personalized packages to fit any budget. Visit Christy Anders Funeral Home in Waterville or at www.apfunerals.com. Twin Valley Thrift Shops are always updating with new arrivals. Check out the warehouse in Waterville and Twice But Nice in Beatty for a great selection of clothes, toys, games, home decor, everyday pieces. And at the warehouse, they stock furniture and more as well. Your purchase and, of course, your contributions benefit local residents served by Twin Valley Developmental Services. Both locations always accept donations of good, clean, quality used items you're no longer using. Visit the Twin Valley Thrift Shops in Waterville and Beatty. I take great pride in my lawn. My Raptor Zero Turn Mower from Hustler gives me the perfectly manicured cut I want. With the power, strength, and speed of a professional zero-turn mower, I quickly maneuver around obstacles with ease, allowing me to maneuver around life's most difficult obstacle, time. Hustler Turf, quality tools designed to improve quality of life. Find the entire line of Hustler residential and commercial zero-turn mowers at Blue Valley Trailers in Waterville. Sharp Manufacturing in Blue Rapids. Building quality, locally produced custom trailers, wishing all Mustang athletes the best of luck this year. From start to finish, the best is what you'll get from Sharp Manufacturing. Check out their full line of high-quality enclosed cargo trailers and custom car haulers at sharpmanufacturing.com. The best and last trailer you'll need, Sharp Manufacturing in Blue Rapids. Bruce Dierking, Max Blasky with our Friday feature game live on FM 985, streaming KeyIndyYRadio.com and on our free mobile app as well. Halftime entertainment on the Mustang Marching Band, 30, 30 members strong, looking good out there tonight. Putting on a halftime performance for a good crowd on hand, both sides of the field, a beautiful night for high school football. Quick score update from Marysville, Bulldogs lead Concordia 15-6 at the half. That's on our sister stations, AM 1570, FM 94.1, Marysville 15, and Concordia 6 at the half. Here on our halftime show, we'll check area scores that are in. We're at halftime, finally, as the Valley Heights Mustangs tangling with the Republic County Buffs. And it is a 16-8 ball game, Republic County at the intermission. Yes, Republic County came off strong with their ground game. Looking to get, got the early score um, on the board, 8 nothing, and able to open it up with the kickoff return. But so far for the Mustangs, able to control the ball, but we talked about it early on in the game. A young team, penalties have been a determining factor, I guess, in this game and setting back both sides from getting some points. Absolutely, without doubt. Early on, Republic County scores their first possession. Valley Heights answers back on their second possession. And then on the ensuing uh, kickoff, it's Republic County for the go-ahead again. It seemed like we would have a scoring fest here tonight, but after that, it leveled out. Defense started working both ways, forced some punt situations, and we slowed to a little more manageable tempo. Mm-hmm. Yes, slowed it down. I think a big play there was that muff punt by Republic County. Valley Heights able to get it in short Republic County field, but just not able to push it across, and I think that kind of did lead into the slow play there in the second quarter. We'd be remiss to talk about the last 25 minutes of the first half, situation where we thought time had elapsed, and Valley Heights was running off the field toward the locker room. Republic County held their ground, and we don't know what the final argument or settlement was, but after a rather long conference with the officials and a long explanation to Cody Trimble on the near sideline, they settled for 15 seconds or better on the clock, which allowed... Was it three or four plays for Republic County? Allowed three plays for Republic County. They moved about 60 yards in total on offense in those three plays. But give credit to the Valley Heights defense, able to get the stop, able to stop Republic County in what was a very wonky, yeah, last 15 seconds. They did, and they had to overcome a a pass interference call that gave Republic County, even with no time left on the clock, one more snap. But, uh, yeah, your defense was called to task, to say the very least. 16-8, 16-8, our score, Republic County takes the lead to the locker room, scoring with 9.06 to play in the opening quarter on their first possession. Colin Dahl 
goes 41 yards for the score. They had a two-point conversion for that early 8-0 lead. Valley Heights answers back. This is their second possession, 3.05 to play. A 35-yard pass play. Shanks to Dummermuth. DeWalt carries for the two-point conversion to tie the game eight apiece. Then on the ensuing kickoff, 70-yard kick return for Scrivener. Adds the six. Dalton Martin on the two-point conversion pass. Republic County 16, Valley Heights 8. We're at halftime here tonight. Titan Trailer Manufacturing of Waterville offers a full line of horse and livestock trailers, flatbed trailers, utility trailers, dump trailers, stock trailers, cargo trailers, and custom trailers. Are you sensing a theme here? Trailers. If you need it, they have it. Not only do they have it, Titan Trailers are a higher standard of quality manufactured in Waterville. You're pulling the best with a Titan Trailer. Log on to TitanTrailer.com and find a dealer near you and see for yourself. Hey, makers like you told us what they want from a self-propelled wind rower, and New Holland listened. Visit Can Equip in Marysville and see the result. The high productivity, high precision, high performance Speed Rower Plus. Featuring the industry's fastest speeds, drive-by wire controls, PLM solutions, and our most comfortable ride ever. It'll help you mow more hay in a day faster and with greater precision. Stop by Can Equip in Marysville and put big new pluses to work in your hay operation. This is Thad Argenbright with Performance Ag in Waterville, your Pioneer dealer. Our vision at Performance Ag is to deliver to you the very best in seed genetics from Pioneer, along with the best in service, which includes on-site seed treatment, direct delivery, and tender use. Call me, Thad Argenbright, at 785-313-3064 and find out why, with Pioneer from Performance Ag, you get more than a bag of seed. Sunflower Community Credit Union recognizes that members' health, both personal and financial, is top priority. In order to make your banking a completely safe experience, they're proud to now offer drive-in convenience. Monday through Friday, 7.30 till 5.30, Saturday, 8.30 till noon. Lending can be done remotely as well. Contact their friendly loan officers at 562-3741. New members always welcome. Call, go online, or drop by Sunflower Community Credit Union in Marysville for more details. Caring about your personal and financial health, Sunflower Community Credit Union. And we are back here as the Valley Heights Mustangs are taking on the Republic County Buffaloes. Valley Heights trailing here at home 16 to 8, just start of the second half. Got a few more minutes here. Use the detective skills I have inferred over the last couple months. Found an answer to our question. Going into half, there was a miscommunication on the stop clockage. There was already a dead ball after a play. Um, did not get communicated to the rest of the refs or to the booth up here. So that was the confusion there at the end of the halftime, what gave kind of Republic County their opportunity to go down and get a score. Thankfully, Valley Heights able to stop them. But that solved what our confusion was. Everything was all right, just miscommunication. Solved it. You're just the local guy and come back home, and you know everybody here. <laughs> hey, we've got a 16-8 ball game here. It was Republic County on the first possession, scoring with 9.06 to play in the first. Colin Dahl, 41-yard scamper. They had a conversion, early 8 nothing lead. Valley Heights answers back on their next, their second possession with 3.05 in the first. 35-yard pass, Shanks to Dummermuth. DeWalt carries for the deuce. 8-8 eight, eight high on the ensuing kickoff. It was a return for Scrivener of 70 yards, and then Dahl to Martin on a two-point conversion pass. For the lead, 16-8. We'll take that to the second half. Got some other updates at the half. Marysville leading Concordia under the captainship of Tony Trimble, former Valley Heights coach down here 16 years. He was down in Hutch for a year, came back to Marysville. They lead Concordia 15-6 at the half. Axtell, big number one, beat number one Clifton Clyde out of the opposite division last week. Axtell rolls Lynn 56-0 tonight. Washington County trailing Clifton Clyde, 16-0 at the half. It is Frankfurt leading Donovan West, 8-0 at the end of the first quarter. And Troy leads Centralia, 7-0. That's early in the second quarter. These score updates, the service of TVL Sports Spotlight, our friend Jeff Wirtz, also linked to us at Key NDY, where you can find the TVL Sports Spotlight on our webpage and our social media as well. Scores and updates, of course, twice each hour game nights on the Farm Bureau Insurance School Board Show. 
and his service this year of Rice Leonard, Washington County, and Patrick Beauty, new Farm Bureau agent for Marshall County. Valley Heights trailing Republic County, 16-8, second half action straight ahead. You look at this game for the Mustangs, aside for that one kickoff return for Republic County, you wonder how much that one kickoff really changed momentum. We talked about it earlier. Both teams came out within their first two drives, went down the field, got a touchdown, looks like it was going to be an offensive game. Valley Heights had the momentum, got the stop, was kicking off right after the score, but just not able to stop them. And that's where we set now here after that fast-moving first quarter and a little slower-moving second quarter, but it is 16-8 here at Valley Heights as we are just about ready to get underway here on KNDY. Of course, listen live online all the time, KNDYradio.com. Buffs are going to kick off to the Mustangs, working left to right here. Course Sun all the way down here between Blue Rapids and Waterville. Wonderful evening for some high school football. Rain has stayed away. Coolness is going to start setting in here as the night goes on. First kick up off the game, it's going to be Gavin Crowder for the Valley Heights Mustangs. 5'8 freshman take it and get stopped at about the 43 or 37 yard line. Handled it well, had just a short return, three or four yards, but going to give them excellent field position here on their first possession, second half. Another little squib kick there by the Republic County Buffaloes that able to hold it down was Crowder as now the Mustangs get started at their own 37 yard line, looking to get some offense going here. It's going to be a handoff right up the middle of the big end. He's going to take it a couple yards, even faked me out. That's not going to be big, and that's going to be Jane Dewalt taking about the right side for about a three-yard gain. Actually going to call it second down and eight here, and we start that roll of offense. I don't trust myself on stats. I've called play-by-play for 40 years, and I don't know how to do the other side really well. But it's been to all and big him on about half and half the carries each. Shanks on a few keepers and Dummermuth once in a while. But big him to all has been the primary thrust offensively. And that will continue to be the thrust going forward. It's going to be big and right side, or excuse me, left side of that offensive line for the Mustangs, plowed for for about two more. So here we are again, about a third and medium, third and long is. We're going to call it a third and eight. Not a very good spot there on the ball, but third down coming up for the Mustangs. And we saw Valley Heights able to move the ball continuously with these type of runs in the first half that it was the penalty that more often than not came in to play a factor that uh, spoiled the party. Both teams playing a fairly even matched game so far through the first half. Going to see what adjustments both teams made going into halftime. Linebackers tied up to the line for the Republic County. There's going to be a hole for Dummermuth. Dummermuth's going to go left side, 30. Dummermuth to the 20. One buff chasing out at about the 20-yard line. Great job there by the Mustangs going from their own 35, flipping the field up to the 20-yard line of the Republic County Buffaloes. There it was. I saw the backers for the Republic County Buffs sneaking up to the line. They're about two feet off the line. Valley Heights ran a little fake to big them up the middle, and Dumruth was able to swing around the left side for a nice big gain. Biggest gain of the night for the Mustangs. How about that start out the second half? Big flip of the field, but here we are on that dreaded 20-yard line. The Valley Heights has just not been able to get past. They're on the left-hand side, left side of the field, going hard count. That's going to be left-hand give to Dewald up the middle, up to about the 15-yard line, about a six-yard run for the sophomore running back off the left side for Valley Heights. So two big plays to start off. Good start off there by the Mustang offense. If you pull back dives, then get your speed guy in space around the outside, able to flip the field. And now let's see if they are able to punch it in. That has been the Achilles heel so far in that first half. Valley Heights able to move the ball very well, but not able to get scores when they get down here in the red zone. Just inside the red zone at about the 13 of Republic County. It's going to be right side. Dumber move, or excuse me, Dewalt on the right side. Going to keep his legs going for a good second effort there by Dewalt. As he's going to fall forward, they're going to be close to the first down. But they're going to call it third down and about a yard to go. 
still in a very good position. This is uh, just what Valley Heights wanted to engineer coming back here in the second half. It was a great opening drive so far. Now being able to capitalize is one of the big keys here now for this young Valley Heights Mustangs team. 9-10 left to go here in the third quarter. Mustangs trailing 16-8, but able to get the first down here as Max Shanks just plows through the middle of that defensive line for the Buffs. Got a first down on the quarterback sneak. Good job there by the offensive line of the Mustangs. Early on in this game, seeing that offensive line of the Mustangs take control so far and just can take control of that offensive line. We've hit on it a little bit. Neither team has the biggest lines on either side. The Valley Heights so far able to control the edges, get some outside runs, and then you use Bingham up the middle with a little more power. Let's see what they have here at the eight-yard line. Mustang's going to set up in their eye with Shanks under center, Biggin behind him in full back, and Dewall behind him at tail. It's going to be Biggin right up the middle, inside the five to the four. Valley Heights inching ever closer on this drive. Yeah, that's just what you wanted on that first down run when you're within the 10-yard line. Uh, not a substantial gain, but well enough to keep the march forward moving. Moves it now to second down, and they're going to call it five. It's just inside the five-yard line. Mustangs on the west end of the field here looking to get this game tied back. Mustangs going to go all tight. Two tight ends, one each side, three backs in the backfield looking to go power. It's going to be Shanks under center. It's going to be a pitch sweep left to Dumbermoot. Dumbermoot's going to pile his way to the goal line, but going to be stopped short at about the two-yard line. So here we go. This is probably going to be fourth down territory. I would assume two downs to get two yards. What is going to be the call here? Yeah, you'd like to have seen another yard out of that effort by Dummermuth. He fought for all he was worth, but the defenders did a nice job containing. So a tough two yards, it always seems you get inside the 10, is always the toughest to get for any offensive team, no matter what level of football you're playing. Mustangs here with a great chance to tie this game up. Trailing 16-8, 7.30 left here to go in the third quarter. Clock winding down. Mustangs with probably two chances to get into the end zone. Trimble is coming onto the field. Didn't like what he saw, and I think he's going to get a timeout. Cody Trimble did not like what he see lined up, and he got a timeout for his young team. We're going to take it two right here on KNDY. Prairie Valley Veterinary Clinic at Blue Rapids offers large and small animal veterinary services, boarding, grooming, pet foods, and all of your animal health supplies. Keep your animals, small or large, healthy with Drs. Musil and Dr. Lang at the Prairie Valley Veterinary Clinic in Blue Rapids. See them today or give them a call. Prairie Valley Veterinary Clinic, offering veterinary services, boarding, grooming, pet foods, and all of your animal health supplies. When it's time to start your demo day, you'll want to have the right tools readily available. Hometown Lumber and Hardware offers rental tools and equipment for your project start to finish. They have demolition hammers, jackhammers, drywall sanders, air-powered nailers, paint sprayers, and other tools you need. Whatever projects you're undertaking, Hometown Lumber and Hardware has the tool and equipment rentals available to make your job easier and more efficient. Away, the Mustangs answered back the Republic County Buffaloes. Number 21, Jaden Dewall was able to sneak into the end zone on a little halfback power down the left-hand side. As Valley Heights now brings it in, 14 to 16, trailing Republic County Buffaloes. Have an injury to a Buffalo player on the field right now. Yeah, they do. The two teams are going back into huddle. Doesn't look like a really good situation. We hope nothing severe. 7-11 to play. That was just what Valley Heights wanted to do. Hated to take the time out in that situation, but perhaps pays off. That uh, persistence at the end, avoiding any mistakes. DeWalt into the end zone for a second time tonight. Carried for the conversion on their only other score. We're going to take a timeout here. Injury timeout. Nope, he's back up, and that's good news. Maybe we will keep it here. He's off the field on his own, and that's good news. Good news for the Republic County Buffaloes as it looks like he is going to be all right. 77, maybe? 77 is what it's looking like, but I don't have one on my either. program. So. I don't either, so we'll just go with what we've We're, seen. Exactly. Good to see him 
get off the field under his own power. Now Valley Heights with a chance to tie the game here. DeWalt just able to answer in or with that short run a few seconds ago to bring the game 16-14. to But things looking to tie it up. Had a nice, real nice drive, honestly, to come out of halftime, took control of the ball, and drove right down the field. Now to capitalize with the two-point conversion. It's going to be a heavy set three back Three backs in the backfield. We're going to go option right side. It's going to be a pick to Dummermuth, and he is in for the two-point conversion. Good pitch there and great decision-making by the freshman, Max Shanks, on that pitch. Kept it just long enough, but pitched it just late enough for Dummermuth to sneak around the corner. So that brings us tied at 16. 17, or seven minutes left here to go in the third quarter. We'll be right back on KNDY. Mom, I'm hungry. Can we stop at the Route 77 corner store? Sure. I need gas anyway, and I can save money on that using my Dino Pay app. Awesome. Okay, I want Hunt Brothers Pizza, one of their ice cream treats, maybe a shake or a cone from here in Blue Rapids. Then we need to go to Waterville because I want some of their fried chicken and fish that's hand-breaded daily. Oh, and don't forget the chicken strips. Whoa, you can eat all that? You underestimate my appetite as a teenage boy. I guess we'll be stopping at the Route 77 corner stores in Blue Rapids and Waterville. Oh, I need a candy bar, too. It's service you can always trust at Sink Gordon & Associates in Waterville and Marysville. Their experience in all matters of farm, business, and individual income tax planning and preparation. Estates and trust. Accounting and payroll services, too. Call Chad Parker in Waterville at 363-2263 or Aaron Wright in Marysville at 562-3858. Sink Gordon & Associates. Comprehensive and innovative accounting in Northeast Kansas since 1946. Mustang, 62-yard drive, 4.49 off the clock, scoring with 7.11 to play, tying the ball game, 16 all. Mustang's kicking off here. It's going to be a squib up the middle, fumbled but handled by the Buffs. A nervous moment there as it went right to the front line of the Republic County Buffalo's big Hands team was able to corral it. The ball squirted it out there. Could have gave the Mustangs excellent field position there early in the second half. Yeah, but with the speed Republic County has, I'm not sure I try onside kicks quite this early. We've already seen it once with a kickoff return for a touchdown early in the first quarter. Republic County with that speed now looking to answer back Valley Heights now. Valley Heights comes out in their 3-4 defense. It's going to be a pitch here near side. It's going to be Dow swinging it around the right side. Dow finds a hole. It is tackled down, though, by Logan Gray. Good open field tackle there by the sophomore Logan. Stopped Republic County after able to pick up. 13 yards. Yeah, I was going to say, good 15 yards. 13 yards there on the carry by Dow. Colin Dow for Republic County has, able to got, has been able to get to the outside a few times and find some of those holes, some of those lanes, break off a few explosive runs. Valley Hatch trying to tighten those lanes down now. Is it going to go tight? Everyone stacked up to the line. It's going to be handoff left side. Dow again fights forward for about five, four or five. Well, they're setting a tone early on here in the second half for possession for the Buffs, and they've already had a conversion, and they're chalking up another short five yards here. Already switched field position on the Mustangs. Ball on the Mustangs, 35-yard line. Republic County moving here, 6.15 left to go in the third quarter. Center Republic County, two running backs in the backfield, tight wing right. It's going to be a pitch again to the right side. Colin Dow, Colin Dow finds the hole again. It's going to get up close to that first down. Mark going to be called just short. We're going to have a short third down and one here coming up for the Buffs. Big defensive play for the Mustangs. The Dahl show right now almost had a conversion there. Colin Dahl with the last three or four runs himself and able to flip the field on the Mustangs. Now all the way up to the 30-yard line of the Mustangs. We're going to call it a short third and the length of the ball for Republic County. They're going to split wide here, two left, two right, trying to spread out Valley Heights. Valley Heights only has one corner on the left side, two receivers. They're just going to power it up with the quarterback, though. Melton, it looks like he was close. Second effort might have got him there, but a heck of a pile there right on the offensive line. That was interesting in that Dahl was running very successfully and you only needed a yard. Um, yeah, you show that look and do they bite? No. 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 So it's a hard earned first down. 
Regardless, a first down for the Buffs as they are able to move the chains again, keeping that Valley Heights defense out there. Yeah, you hit it on it there. You go four wide, but Valley Heights did not cover out. Something to watch later on, maybe in the game, looking to take a shot. Five minutes left here to go in this fast-moving third already. Republic County is going to spread four out again, get that same look they just had. Melton under center. Melton's going to look back. Quick swing out to the left side, get the ball in the space. It's going to be a pass completed and a pass for about seven or eight yards up to number eight, Maddox Simpson. I'm going to say something about Republic County. They're winless in three starts, but they show some ability to do a lot of things here. Uh, I'm not sure what kind of opponents they've had thus far this year or what kind of season, but for a winless team, outside the penalties, which did add up in the first half both ways, Republic County's doing some things well. And now they've went to a very weird set. The last three plays, they went two split left, two split wide, a real spread out formation. It's going to be a draw quarterback right up the middle by Melton, and he's going to get down to about the 10-yard line there. So you go with power in Dahl for the first half of this drive, and now we've kind of gone spread with some quarterback draws right up the middle, and Republic County has moved it into the red zone on Valley Heights. Ball almost up to the 10-yard line. That was that was the situation where the quarterback did put the defense on the on the uh, secondary. They were watching the wides and left some room up the middle. Able to sneak right behind his center. Now we're going to go more traditional power with two running backs and one tight one wide for Republic County here near side. It's going to be a fake pitch and an end around to the left side. Valley Heights Mustang defense did a good job, good gang tackling there by the Mustangs. James Brocklin. James Bolkin, if I'm right, he's just a freshman, but I'm sure that was 44. Good job there by the Mustangs getting out there regardless. Public County trying to do a little trickery. They like to fake the pitch and then hand it off to a sweep back right behind the offensive line. But Valley Heights defense able to get a stop there, drive Republic County back. Now I'm not so sure I saw 44. might have been Logan Gray, number 40. Yeah, Valley Heights has got those dark purple unis and those kind of darker gray numbers. Kind of hard to see, but not hard to see a stop there as Valley Heights able to get the stop. Kaysen Biggin coming up big for the Mustangs on the right side of that defensive line. Well, and that's where, again, I'm not used to calling the defensive side because I do play-by-play, but um, it was so important. It was so important to note these big stops by the Mustang defense. Republic County was able to move the ball very well, got about 40 yards of, I guess, field in about three or four plays, but now Valley Heights Mustangs defense has stiffened. Yeah, they were just short of a first and goal, and now you're looking at third and 20. Now third and 20, a long ways for the Republic County Buffaloes. Good stop by the Mustangs defense. Now we're going to have a shift on the Mustangs line, and it looks like we're going to have a timeout. So Republic County takes a timeout. They are t- tied with the Mustangs right now. 219 left to go in the game. We'll be right back on KNDY. Everybody is wanting to reduce, reuse, and recycle. How about reducing the amount of money leaving your bank account every month? With income-based living and reduced cable bill costs for everyone, Waterville Housing Authority is your housing partner. Enjoy maintenance-free, comfortable living in one- or two-bedroom apartments. Check out their Facebook page or call 785-363-2239. That's 785-363-2239. Honeyman Auto Sales and Service. Drive by or check inventory online at HoneymanAuto.com. You can even schedule a test drive online as well. With lots of choices, Honeyman works to make yours the best buying experience with customer service a top priority. Competitive pricing, knowledgeable staff, and superior customer service right here at home. With a full service shop and a selection of both cars and trucks in all price ranges, see Honeyman Auto Sales and Service East Pony Express Highway. Marysville today. Back here as the Valley Heights Mustangs are tangling with the Republic County Buffaloes. Republic County third and third and goal from their own 20. Amazing to say that. They're looking to get a score here, break this tie. It's going to be a quick swing over here, right side to Dahl, and he is stopped short of the goal line, short of the 10 yard line there by the Mustangs defense. Good game tackling on that quick pass. Yeah, good, good stop by Bigham again. 
Uh, he was the number two man for the Mustangs. Probably shouldn't have had to handle that solo, but he did. Important fourth down here. Looks like Republic County is going to go for it. Fourth and long, about fourth and 12 from their own 15-yard line. Just under 130 left to go here in the fourth quarter. Hallmark of a good defense. Uh, if one gets passed, the other man can pick him up. Good te team defense so far by the Mustangs. Republic County with a big fourth down. It's going to be Melton over the middle. A little flip pass to his receiver. He's going to be awfully close to that first down marker. Let's see where they give it to him. I think he looks like he got it. Well, the buffs are saying, yeah, move ahead. The officials are going to call time on this one for a minute, at least to sort it out and get the spot, if not a measurement. That was a nice stop by twin Mustang defenders. Right there, they made the stop. It was just a situation he's so close, they're going to bring the chains in. A good offensive play call by the Republic County Buffs. They spread it out, found the tight end up the middle, stopped him close, but a good stop by the Mustangs. Let's see what the mark here is, and it was a good stop by the Mustangs. The Valley Heights Mustangs stopped the Republic County Buffaloes from scoring. Turn it over on bounds, Valley Heights ball. Let me say it again. That was a good tandem tackle by Valley Heights. They stood it up, and hey, it pays off. If you bring one guy to that tackle, it's probably a first down. It might even be a touchdown. But two, three Valley Heights Mustangs were there, able to stop them. Big turnover on downs here, looking to build momentum for Valley Heights. They do have a long field ahead of them. Ball starting on their own two-yard line, but the whole fourth quarter to work with. 126 left to go here, the third. It's going to be Shanks just up the middle, running a power. Able to stay on his feet, though, and drive for about six yards. Valley Heights tried to just run a simple quarterback sneak. Max Shanks able to keep his feeding and pick up almost six. Heights hasn't worked from deep in their own territory tonight. It could be a mental block as much as anything, and that's exactly what you want to do. Get yourself off the goal line. Give yourself a little breathing room, even if it is four or five yards. That's going to bring up second and four for the Mustangs. Going to probably take their time here. Under a minute left to go here in the third quarter. It's going to be Shanks under center with a big one and DeWalt behind him in the eye. It's going to be Shanks left side here, too. I believe that is Dummermuth. He's going to be stopped after a short gain. But a good idea there by the Mustangs. Swing it back to the outside. Keep that defense on us. Stop. No. Met by Bryce Sasser. He spun him down to the ground. There was no stop there at all. That was a meeting of minds right at the line of scrimmage. Now we have another stoppage play. Looks like we're going to get a mark here real quick. Didn't realize he was that close to the first down mark. I didn't either. The sticks out. See if they can give the Mustangs a new set of downs. 440 left or 40 seconds left here, excuse me, in the third quarter as the Valley Heights Mustangs take on the Republic County of Buffaloes. We are tied at 16, and it's going to be just short for the Mustangs. As I can tell, it was about two pieces of paper width from being a first down. But Valley Heights is going to have to fight for one extra yard here if they're wanting to keep this drive alive. Freshman Shanks getting his team ready. Tough position to be in early on in the season. Valley Heights looking for a good win here at home after dropping homecoming last week. 40 seconds left here to go in the third quarter. Tied up at 16. Valley Heights looking to get a late score. Clock is moving. 30 seconds left here to go in the third. Tight bunch formation of backs behind Shanks in the backfield. of The Mustangs are going to run power again. It's going to be quarterback sneak, and I believe he got enough. Yeah, I think he did. Uh, didn't need a whole lot. He just needed that front line to surge forward, and that's just what happened. That Valley Heights Mustangs, I noticed it on that first drive. The offensive line came out with a different sense of energy and a different sense of dog in them here in the second half. All right, new series of downs, and you're not back against the goal line, but you're still as deep as you've been in your own territory all night long, so there's still a lot of open field down to the end zone. Still a long field to go. See if Mustangs get one more play here. Five seconds left to go in the third. They are indeed going to run another play. It's going to be power left or power right. Excuse me. Biggin's going to take it up the middle, and that's going to bring us to the end of the third quarter. At the end of three, Valley Heights Mustangs 16, Republic County Buffalo 16.
Get the good stuff. Superior quality at competitive prices. It's right around the corner at your Napa Auto Parts store, Blue Rapids Auto and Hardware. Napa has over 310,000 parts and accessories for auto, truck, farm, and small engines. Plus, all Napa brand parts are backed by a national warranty program. Need answers or advice? Just ask the friendly parts professionals at Napa at Blue Rapids Auto and Hardware. They're ready to help. Get the good stuff. Quality you can trust at prices you can afford at Napa Auto Parts, Blue Rapids Auto and Hardware. Take the worry out of ordering and refilling your propane tanks with Kramer Oil. Great people to work with. Their family has been serving your family since 1976. Customize your account with delivery and automatic refill, prepaid discount, or level billing options available. Hard work, integrity, and dedication to the community are hallmarks that Kramer Oil lives by and promise to deliver for you. Join the family today with a phone call to Kramer Oil in Marysville. Find them online at KramerOil.com. My Sister's Closet Boutique in Waterville has all you need for your wardrobe this season. They specialize in the latest fashion trends. Don't get caught in last year's style. Stop in and refresh your wardrobe with all your favorite team colors. Stock your closet with cute, comfortable, trendy, and affordable options. Hurry to MSC today or start your shopping online at MySistersClosetKansas.com. Big city style with small town service. Come and spend a day at MSC in Waterville. Mustang football on air online on our mobile app. Live on KNDY. It's Friday Night Lights. Mustangs back here with a short third and three to go on the left side of the field here. Move to the nicer side of the field for me and Bruce here on the west end of the stadium. It's going to be Shanks under center. It's going to be a power give. I believe it's to DeWalt. He's going to excuse me. Yes, that was DeWalt down the right side. He's going to be close to a first down. We'll see where they mark him. Believe they're going to mark him just short. So another first down, and DeWalt comes up gimpy. That's not a good sign for the Mustangs. Well, and that explains why he kind of stumbled into that uh, situation where I don't know, he may have turned wrong. We hope it uh, doesn't aggravate anything, but wasn't able to stretch it out because he never had solid footing out there. He's going to stay there in the huddle, and we're going to have another measurement from the referees here. thought they were pretty close. Let's see what they give him on this measurement. And they're going to give him the first down. He got it. Wow. And back of the backfield, DeWalt dealing with some cramps. That's what it looks like they were. Took the split-second opportunity to stretch him out a little bit, a little calf cramp early on in the season, something to always keep an eye on. I, I didn't see a first down out of that. Must have been the spot, gave, given the sideline guys a workout. You gave him a real good spot there. As that gives Valley Heights a new set of downs. Just under 11 minutes to play here in the fourth quarter. We have got a great game here between the Valley Heights Mustangs and the Republic County Bus. It's going to be a swing right side to Dumbermuth. Runs into his own guys. Not able to find any sort of hole there on that play. Dumbermuth has had better opportunities tonight. That one just wasn't meant to be. Line wasn't able to drive off. Republic County, give credit where credit is due. A good defensive stop there by the Buffs. They're looking to stop Valley Heights here from driving down the field. Of course, Valley Heights started on their own two-yard line, already has moved it up to the 25-yard line. Good offense so far by the Mustangs. Week four of the season combined a single win between these teams, but playing with as much heart as you could ask any high school teams to do. This has been just a good game to call, a good game to watch, and a good game to be a part of in general. It's going to be Shanks keeping it here near side. He's going to try and keep the edge. Gets a few yards and gets driven out of bounds at about the 31-yard line. Max Shanks keeping it here near side and taking a hit after the end of that play. Yeah, he did. And that, uh, that was a result of those extra two or three yards that he picked up after he first uh, thought about giving it up and then said, I can make a little more out of it. He did. He did. A few extra yards is all he's going to need. It's going to bring up now a third, and we're going to call it about a five here for the Mustangs on their own, just short of the 30-yard line. Clock continuing to roll down. 9.45 left here to go in the fourth quarter. All knotted up at 16. Mustangs looking to take the lead on this drive. It's going to be Shanks under center again. It's going to be a trap play. The dumb removes here right side. They're going to pick up about four, and we're going to bring up another fourth down. Fourth down and about three I'm going to go with. 
a big play here for the Mustangs. I know I tend to say that a lot, but it seems like every play is important. And we are going to punt it. So, Coach Trimble electing to punt it away to the Buffaloes here. So, going for it in their own territory, maybe not a bad idea. It's going to be Dewalt back to punt. Gets a nice kick away to the left side. Bounces at the 40. Unfortunately, takes a Republic County bounce, but it's going to stick right there at the 40. You want to talk about putting a ball in some glue. That ball just died. Yeah, it did. Caden Dummer moved nice punt. Uh, got nice yardage out of it. I thought that was the right call to make. Uh, these coaches have have randomly taken those fourth down opportunities, if we will, or chances is probably a better word. But that wasn't the time to take that gamble. Sometimes you need to play field position more than playing for some points. Elliott's back here on defense, looking to get their defense set up. As the ball will be on the 40-yard line of the Republic County Buffaloes. Nine minutes left here in this game. We are coming down to the wire here. At the Valley Heights, it's going to be the quarterback for the Buffs. Melton around the right side, and he is stopped for a loss. Good defense by those Mustangs. I thought he was going to find some opportunities over there. He had a lot of teammates providing interference, but Valley Heights stayed the course. Defensive stop, no gain. Defensively, especially here in this second half, the edge and the outside of this Valley Heights defense has really stepped up, not allowed Republic County to get to the edge, use that speed we did kind of hit on earlier, not not able to use that to their advantage is Republic County. It's going to Republic County here now, second and long still, second and ten, moving right to left here. It's going to be Melton rolling out left side. Now he's going to try and reverse field back to the right side, and he does. Breaks a tackle, now breaks two tackles. Goes right side, down the sideline. We're going to have a penalty here near side on the buffs. So a first down play, I believe, is going to be negated. Maybe explains why Trey Melton had so many second, third, fourth opportunities out there. Purple jerseys in the neighborhood, but not within arm's reach. And Melton, a good speedster, did. Nice little cut here left, then back to the right. Able to get 10 yards out of that game. But here near side, I believe we're going to have a penalty on the buffs. Yes, good job by Milton. Play was designed to go to his left, brought it that way, saw nothing, flipped it all the way to the other side of the field. Both teams have done a lot better job controlling the penalties here in the second half. We were plagued by them literally in the first half. Short varieties, but the second half, they paid attention to the locker room talk. Younger teams getting a little smarter. No, self-inflicted wounds is always the problem. We have those penalties in the first half those of the false start kind and the personal conduct. We are going to have a penalty on the Republic County Buffaloes, unsportsmanlike conduct. So the first major penalty of the night going to march the Buffs back 15 from the spot of the end of that play. Going to move it now to second and 15 for the Buffs. Got a little chippy out there. A little, little block here near side, far away from the play. Buffs player, the Valley Heights player on his rear end wasn't really called for. And that is some of that inexperience and immaturity coming to play there. A good 10-yard run for the Buffs, neglated with a big 15-yard penalty. Mustangs with an opportunity here now to get a stop lane with a long set of downs is Republic County. They're going to go near side here to Dahl. He's going to try and look for someone. Slipped, got back up. Then it goes down, gang tackled again by the Valley Heights Mustangs. Bruce, you brought it up earlier, the Mustangs on defense. One person, two person, three person to that ball. Yeah, I was surprised that Dahl had the opportunities that he did. Uh, Self-created to a large degree, but, but also a situation where Valley Heights had to rely on that team tackle. So that's going to bring up a third and extra long for the Republic County Buffaloes. Good crowd here tonight for the Mustangs getting on their feet as it is a big third down for the Mustangs. Tied at 16, 7.30 left here to go in the game. Republic County moving right to left. Ball fumbled at the snap. Melton picks it up, though, able to manage about five, four yards out of that deal. But it's going to bring up a fourth and extremely long for the Republic County Buffaloes. He was lucky to pick it up. Let's just be honest. He was lucky to still have possession and be able to gain yardage after the fact. One of those plays, I think his feet decided to start moving quicker than his eyes did. Took his eyes off the ball, not able to corral that 
A little forced fumble, able to pick it up and get a few extra yards, but that's going to bring up fourth down here. Now Republic County looks like they're going to punt it. Let's see what they do. That indeed they do. It's going to be a punt right side. It's going to stop and take a nice Republic County roll down to about the 25 of the Mustangs. We're going to go into timeout. Tied at 16 here on KNDY. If you're looking for a car, truck, van, or SUV, look no further than Mustang Motors in Blue Rapids. They have a great inventory. You're sure to find what you're looking for. And if you don't see it, Colby will help you find it. And they don't sell anything they don't warranty. But if you do need repairs further down the road, they have a full-service department and a mechanic available. Plus, Mustang Motors has a full-service professional detailing service. So stop by and see or check them out at MustangMotorsKS.com. That's Mustang Motors in Blue Rapids. Back here as the Mustangs take over the ball. 6.45 left to go here in the game. Knotted up at 16. A lot of tired bodies just watching the quarterback exchange between head coach and Max Shanks. And there's a lot of tired bodies out there right now. It's going to be a run up the middle for no gain. Maybe a gain of one. Going to bring up second and nine for the Mustangs. Well, both teams, as I said, playing with a lot of heart here tonight and a lot of enthusiasm. And this is the, this has really been a premier matchup between two evenly matched teams. That is the one thing about it. Both teams coming in with one combined win between the two of them, but both teams easily matched. Teams fighting, teams competing. It's been a good Friday night football game to watch. Been wonderful weather for it too as well. On the snap, Shanks had trouble handling it, just had to fall on it, same as Melton did the play before for Republic County. So that brings up a third and long. For Valley Heights. Got a score update. Marysville still on Concordia 15 6. They're uh, three quarters in the books. Marysville 15, Concordia 6 on our sister stations, AM 1570, FM 94.1. Here the Mustangs are tied with the Rebel County Buffaloes at 16. You know, I don't want to say this could be one of the last play or drives of the game, excuse me, but with 5.30 left and clock still running. This might be getting close to it for the Valley Heights offense, the way they like to run and control the ball. It's going to be Shanks under center with Bigham behind him and Dewalt behind him in the eye. It's going to be Shanks rolling out near side. Shanks looking to throw, but taken down again by Republic County. That defensive line of Republic County has caused headaches for Max Shanks in the backfield tonight. The mystery man, 7-7. Seven, seven. Comes up with another big play for Republic County. So, here we are, under five minutes to go. Valley Heights is going to punt it away. Republic County could get some good field position here as the ball is on the 15 of Valley Heights. Keaton got a nice punt on his last effort. He's going to need it again here. This time he's pinned back almost to the goal line. Standing at about the 50 is the Republic County turner, and another good punt going to go over the head of the returner. It's going to go... About the 45, roll past the 50, and get down to about the 48 of Republic County. So good job by Valley Heights flipping the field with that punt. Dummermuth, 45-yard punt. How about that? Just like our area athletes work each day in practice to perform at their best in the big game, the staff at Bruna Implement Company, your local Case IH dealer, work daily to provide the best parts and service experience when you need it most. Bruna Implement Company has been family-owned for three generations. We know what it takes to be successful as your area Case IH dealer. For the best in farming equipment with the service to back it, there is only one. Bruna Implement Company, since 1947. Back here as the Valley Heights Mustangs able to get a stop on first down. Republic County looked to pass it, but big number 72, Drake Slipper for Valley Heights, able to get the defensive tackle for a loss. Slifer in there, Jacob Sweet, another big senior. Uh, the, the, the two of them really took over on the quarterback. Republic County came out in their two-by-two two, walk, two, by two set again, not able to get anything. Now they're going to go with the power eye behind quarterback Melton here. It's going to be a handoff up the middle, stops short for about the gain of what they lost on the last play will be the buzz. You sense an urgency for both teams right now. Tie ball game, 16 all. There's really plenty of time left on the clock, three and a half minutes for a Republic County offense that's shown the ability to pick up chunks at a time when they need to, but they are in the, well, as I say that, they're in the huddle yet. 
but they're in uh, kind of an urgent offensive situation, and the Valley Heights defense realizes there's a lot on the line here at midfield. This is going to be a big defensive drive here for the Mustangs. They're going to come tight, set up to the line. It's going to be a pitch here near side for the Buffs, and a good tackle there by the Mustangs as the backing four came in. Number 34 for the Mustangs, Kaysen Bigham, came in and laid a big hit on the Buffs running back. And he had a teammate there with him, too. They were going to make sure that they made the stop. A lot of interference from the Republic County uh, teammates over here on the near side to give give a chance, but it was the defense standing tough yet again. Valley Heights learned early in the game after some missed tackles, you need to gang tackle. It's going to be fourth and about seven. Big fourth down here, a little squib, pooch, punt. I'm going to call it down to the middle. Ball is loose. Ball is taken by Republic County, and the ball is going to stay with the bus after a unfortunate bounce of the football for the Mustangs. A kind of pooch punt by the Buffs. The ball rolled down. I believe it hit the back leg of a Mustang not paying attention. Therefore, a live ball, and therefore, Republic County gains possession. But we do have a flag on the play. We'll see what that consists of here in just a second. Yeah, let's take a timeout while we sort it out. This might take a minute. 16 all. If any of your family members meow, bark, squeak, chew, dig, squawk, claw, play dead, or fetch, you need Dr. Porter and the Blue River Veterinary Clinic in Waterville. Dr. Porter is dedicated to the wellness and health care of your small animal pets, offering vaccinations and wellness checks, boarding, dentistry, emergency care, grooming, surgery, and radiology with her full-service clinic. A healthy pet is a happy pet, and a happy pet means a happy home. Call today for your appointment, 363-2222. Raise your hand if you need more internet speed. It's time to get your hands on much faster internet. Don't settle for yesterday's internet speed when you have a home full of today's devices. Upgrade your Blue Valley Technologies internet speed now to the speed you need and get a $50 bill credit. If you're new to Blue Valley, you get two months free and everyone gets free installation on managed Wi-Fi. Visit bluevalley.net forward slash raise your hand today. Valley Heights Mustangs taking the ball off the punt. It's going to be d running around left side trying to find a seam. Taken down somewhat awkwardly. Then I have another penalty. While we are away, there's a chop block on that punt. So ball did not end up in the hands of Republic County. Valley Heights has a chance here to drive down the field and win a game. Tied 16. That was a big, big penalty. Had a situation where it bounced off a Mustang and Republic County had taken possession in Mustang territory. Were it not for that penalty, they'd have possession be driving out of the red zone. If not for that penalty, yes, the Buffaloes would have the ball, I would say, at the Valley Heights 25-yard line. Now Valley Heights is going to walk it on back as we have another flag. The officials giveth and taketh. And we have seen a game of give it and take it on both sides throughout the night. Yeah, it has. Yeah. At the end of all of that, it is 2.19 to left to go here in the fourth quarter. Valley Heights with a chance to win the game here against the Republic County Buffs. Valley Heights just starting out. First and 10, 2.19 left here to go in the game. It's going to be Shanks under center working left to right. Tight formation. Play is stopped before it got started. More laundry on the field. False start on the Mustang. Yeah, it's a procedure uh, penalty, five-yard variety, but uh, you're, you're backing it up. You're backing it up. Time's a factor any way you slice it and just making it tougher and tougher. Not able to get any momentum really here in the second half has been this Mustang offense, and a false start on a very important first down play is not the way you want to start it. Saw Valley Heights in the first half, late in the first half, go with the no huddle hurry up offense. I wouldn't be surprised to see him try that technique again. 2.19 left here to go in the game. No, would not be surprised. Time is of the essence for the Mustangs. It's going to be pushed left side, going to be stopped in the backfield for no game on the Mustangs. Looks like a missed block there here on the near side of that Mustang line. Gut check for the defense. They did it. You put the clock in motion. Clock continues to roll here under two minutes. Yeah, for Republic County, just the same position Valley Heights was in about two minutes ago. Defense needing to get a stop to continue this game. 
Right now, we could be looking at OT. Barry could possibly be looking. Valley Heights uh, got a long field to go, about 80 yards left to go. It's going to be Shanks now in the shotgun. Snap's going to go to him. He's going to roll out right side, try a little flip pass. Looks like the ball's going to hit the ground. Incomplete as he was targeting Bingham. Pass no good. It's going to stay at a second and long. Case and Bingham over here, just a little bit underthrown. Couldn't retrieve it. At this point in the game, 130 left. You have to open up the playbook maybe a little bit. So it's going to move to third and 15 for the Mustangs. A long yardage to go. First thing you've got to do, you have to get either first down here or on the next play. 130 left here, knotted up at 16. Valley Heights driving. Yeah, we saw at the end of the first half, they added 24 seconds. And we saw how far and how quickly Republic County could move that ball. You don't want to put it back in their hands. Mustangs now with Shanks under center. We're going to go sweep. It's going to be a pass. Excuse me. Dunham is going to throw it here near side. It's going to be caught by the Mustangs at the 30-yard line. Yeah, it was a little bootleg, and that that really picked up a big yardage situation, but going to leave them about four four yards shy of a first down, if I'm right. It might be longer than that. Looking at a five, a long five for the Mustangs. So what do you do? A big momentum play, but it looks like you're going to punt it away. Max Shanks back on the sideline, dealing with some cramps, something to keep an eye on. 128 left here to go as the Mustangs punt. Ball is up and away. Good punt again by Dewalt. Ball, ball's going to be taken in at the 45. It's going to be around the right side for Republic County. It's going to be Simpson with the ball, and he's going to go out at the 50-yard line. Another flag on the field. Looks like it's going to be on Republic County on this play. Yeah, I don't know what the situation was. They went over to the Republic County sideline and should have been enough to stop the clock, which it did. Buck 18 remains. But uh, going to be a, yeah, going to be something the, the Buffs didn't want to see. Block in the back by the Republic County Buffalo. So that is now two plays. I'm going to call them special teams plays. One of those punts that they have really shot themselves in the foot. That was Cody Trimble believing in a Caden Dummermuth punt. He's averaging 45 yards, give or take. I'm not counting Real close here, but uh, getting 45, 50-yard punts and, and saying we can pin them back far enough, and then then we believe in the Valley Heights defense. And here is that defense. 118 left to play. Knotted up at 16. The ball will start at the 35 of Republic County. RC's got to work a few more yards as a result of that late penalty flag. Let's see what the Mustangs defense has for Republic County. Republic County is going to go up with with quarterback under center, Melton tight. It's going to be one split right ride, and it's going to be Melton up the middle. Small run for about a gain of two. Clock continues to run here. Nice containment. Republic County really has liked to spread it out. They will throw it a time or two, but I would look for them to maybe run it here, maybe one more time before they really start to look to press. They're going to come out with that same set, two wide receivers on the left, one on the right. It's going to be Melton back to pass. He's going to look here left side, going to now look right side, going to swing out right, going to run out of bounds at about the 40, we're going to call it about the 41-yard line of Republic County. 44 seconds left, a long field yet to go, but we did see it earlier. Republic County can score on one play. I'd like to have seen the purple defense a little bit closer to the quarterback. Gave him some room out there, but he heard footsteps behind him. And here is on that defense the game that you decide to play. Melton, a great running quarterback. How many do you rush? Do you take defenders off the back end? What do you do? 440 le- or 44 seconds left here to go in the game. Knotted up at 16. It's going to be Melton back to pass for the bus. He's going to go right side. Go a deep shot. It's going to be over the head of Colin Dow. If that ball was about one foot closer to Dow's fingertips, we might have ourselves a different game. Well, it was an effort of a long pass. We haven't seen a lot of passing offense here tonight, a lot of attempts. We've got a capable passing quarterback, but uh, overthrown. Now that brings up a fourth down. So if you're a public county, 40 seconds left here in the game, ball on your own, 41-yard line, fourth down. You don't want to give the Mustangs the ball right here. Looks like they're going to possibly punt it away. No. Looks All right. He's dropping back. Drop back a little bit in a kind of an odd formation here. little pooch punt, a high punt. That's not going to go very far. Go about 10 yards. Ball's going to die, but take a Republic county bounce. 
Dewalt's going to pick it up and run it for about two, but that's all we're going to get. 31 seconds left here to go in the game. Ball on the 40-yard line of the Mustangs. I think what they were trying to do is pull that defense off, and, and, and it didn't work. That was credit to Valley Heights holding their, their ground. doesn't really matter with a half minute left how far deep back you are. You've still got a half minute left to work with, and a very real chance of overtime now. A real chance of overtime, but the Mustangs have one more opportunity here. 30 seconds left. They're done to split three right side wide. Shanks in the backfield with Diebold on his hip. It's going to be a snap. Quick pass here right side, sort of a screen. It's towards the ground. It's going to be complete, but for almost no gain as Trimble is going to take a timeout. Royce Ekstrom on the reception there. Let's take timeout two. We're tied 16 all. 27 seconds left. Anyone can sell you soybean seed. Channel Seedsman plays product to perform. With Channel Extend Flex Soybeans and Channel Roundup Ready to Extend Soybeans, you'll get the superior weed control you want and the high yield potential you need. Make the most of next season with the Roundup Ready Extend Crop System and expert recommendations from Channel Seedsman. Ask a seedsman in your area for recommendations for your fields. Check with your state pesticide regulatory agency for specific restrictions in your state. Always read and follow pesticide label directions. Dane's Automotive and Tire in Waterville and Marysville is your reliable automotive repair shop. Servicing engines and transmissions, ACs, radiators, exhausts, and diagnostic checks. Did you know Dane's does tires? Carrying all major brands and sizes from trucks, ATVs, trailer, and farm implements, Dane's Automotive and Tire has you covered. With over 85 years combined experience, your locally owned and trusted repair and tire shop is Dane's Automotive and Tire in Waterville and Marysville. Mustangs here, 27 seconds left, knotted up at 16. It's Shanks in the backfield looking to pass. He's going to roll around, now roll right side, going to dump it off short here and stop up real nicely by Republic County. A short pass completion and another timeout taken by the Mustangs. Same target, Ekstrom, same situation, no gain. Same situation, Heights timeout. Turn to Cottage Hill Egg Supply in Waterville when you need to take your crops to the next level. Start with top quality channel seed complete with treatments and delivery. Precision planting equipment gives you optimum seed spacing, singulation, and depth control. Kilbro seed tenders are dependable for delivering seed to the field and planter. And Darren carries sprayer parts, fertilizer parts, and Conklin egg products so you have the best growing season ever. Grow your best with Cottage Hill Egg Supply. Whether you're buying, building, remodeling, or refinancing, your home is a major investment in your life. At United Bank & Trust, we understand how important it is to work with someone who cares. Our loan officers have the experience it takes to make the process a smooth one. Come in for a visit or start online by filling out a loan application at ubankonline.com in as little as 20 minutes. Mortgage lending with United Bank & Trust. It's banking for your way of life. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. Back here as the Mustangs get a first down and go out of bounds. It's going to be a pass from Shanks to Dummermuth over on the left side. 13 seconds left. Valley Heights moved it across the midfield up to the 45 of Republic County. Still got some yards to go, but a chance. Fantastic fling by Shanks, and Dummermuth was right there on the sideline, able to stop the clock as he checked out of bounds. Of course, Valley Heights with just... I believe it should be one time out left. Board still staying three, but one time out left. Valley Heights across the midfield looking to get a late score here. Take the lead. It's going to be Shanks rolling out, and he just slipped. We talked about it. Middle of the field, some wet weather, some wet grass. Valley Heights is going to try and spike it, get one last play. Three seconds, two seconds. Got it spiked with about one and a half seconds left. So we got one more chance, but a false start on the offense. So trying to hurry up and get one more play in will prove unworthy for the Valley Heights Mustangs. I believe we're going to have a false start on the Mustangs themselves. Clock will run at the whistle. 1.7 seconds left, and that is regulation. We are going to go into overtime tied at 16 here on KNDY. At the beginning of every crop year, you get only one chance to get it right. Start your season off with a seed you can trust. Plant DeKalb Astro. They have a full range of products that have proven themselves year after year. Parker Seed can provide the right seed for your environmental conditions. 
There's no room for error. Call Parker C. to start your season off right. When you call Todd Parker, he'll put his knowledge and experience to work to help you make the right choices. Call today, 562-6687. That's 562-6687. It takes a lot of know-how to run an ag business right. One of the most important things is choosing the right financial partner. That's why so many producers work with us. When it comes to agriculture, you can count on our experience. For land appraisal and more, you can talk to us. We're local, and we're here to help you grow. Citizen State Bank, Marysville, Waterville, and Hanover. Member FDIC. Big thank you to our sponsors on the broadcast tonight and our regional sports boosters as well. We certainly couldn't be out under the Friday Night Lights without their support. 16 all-time. Max, I know you've been at this for now, what, three games this year? But I've been at it for a good long time, and I can't tell you how many years it's been since I've had high school football overtime we have a strange overtime here on friday night life over the past three first three weeks we've had some i guess i want to call bigger games and blowout games so not a chance but here we go overtime here between the valley heights mustangs and the republic county buffaloes and i'll be straight up we don't have the overtime textbook so the captains are going to meet out there at center field including uh the injured uh, parker boy caden parker out there who's, uh, what, what do we call that little knee roller that he's on? Well, it was Harley Knight and Scooter Knight, so he's got yeah, a scooter. There you go. He's got a scooter. He's got a and, scooter. Uh, it's good to see him out there. He was out there at, uh, at the uh, coin toss beginning of the ball game, and I know he's been rooting for this team that has fought so hard. I don't know where I was going with an earlier thought, but again, I go back to something I mentioned earlier, how well matched these two teams are. Offset for offset. Not just points, but but penalties, but defensive stops. There were so many aspects of the ball game where it was tit for tat. And some big plays in there, too. You know, Valley Heights has had their fair share on the other side. Republic County has gotten some advantages on Valley Heights, but that has been one thing about this game we've mentioned all night long. A very well-played, a very well-matched game here tonight. Now, this is where the officials are explaining to the team captains the procedure for the overtime. And uh, we'll see these two teams both with a hunger to win the ball game tonight. 0-3 Republic County, 1-2 Valley Heights. But have seen some good teams along the way for Valley Heights so far this season. Uh, what did you tell me? A win over Onega, lost to Centralia, and a loss to Troy. So chance to turn it around here on uh, the home field for Republic County. Hungry for that first win of the season. It is a brand new ball game. It is a brand new ball game. Almost like starting with zeros, but we're going to call it 16 here. Start of overtime for the Mustangs. The ball will be placed at the 10 as we get going here in just a little bit. Join us late. We may have some games uh, ending at this point. Uh, Valley Heights uh, took the first possession, but gave that ball up to Republic County, scoring with 9.06 to play in the first quarter. Colin Dahl, 41-yard touchdown. Next position, Valley Heights answers back, 35-yard touchdown pass, Shanks to Dummermuth. Then it was a 70-yard kick return for Scrivener for Valley Heights on the ensuing kickoff. They took a 16-8 lead to the locker room at halftime. Lone second-half score, Dewalt two yards out, Dummermuth for the deuce to tie it 16-all. That came back with 7-11 to play in the third quarter. We've been tied 16-16 since. After the first three possessions, we thought this was going to be a barn burner, but here we are setting at 16. Ball will start at the 10-yard line for the Republic County Buffs as they look to break this un- or this even score of 16s. It's going to be a power right side. Going to get about five yards for the Buffs here. Number 28, Colin Dahl again up the middle, and I think this will be the key. The field has shrunk for both teams. The line of scrimmage is going to get a lot tighter. Linebackers are going to be closer to the line of scrimmage. Let's see when power overpowers power, which team comes out on top here. So we're at Pollock County with second down at about the five. We're going to call it the six-yard line. It's going to be a sweep left side here to Dow. Dow is going to try and get the edge, gets to the five-yard line, dies, but is out of bound at the five-yard line. Good pursuit, Jaden DeWalt on the near side, followed Dahl out of bounds. I've been very impressed with these linebackers and the safety slash corner for Valley Heights tonight. We brought it up a time or two. 
gang tackling has been a key tonight. There's not just one purple jersey on every tackle. There's two, three, sometimes even four, and that's what you want to see from a young team, especially on the defensive side. Now they need to bunker down. Third and even closer. Now we're going to call it third and five. Dow got a one-yard run on that last. It's going to be melting up the middle. Going to run a quarterback draw, but we have a stoppage of play. Encroachment on the Mustang, so that's going to move Republic County a little bit closer. At this point of the game, that's one of those tough penalties. It might only a lot to two yards, but two yards can be the difference between a touchdown and a stop here. Two yards, half the distance they needed to the goal line. That says it right there, half the distance to the goal. It just got that much tougher. Big third down here for the Mustangs, needing to get a stop defensively. It's going to be Melton in the backfield under center for the bus. It's going to be handoff Dow, left side Dow is stopped close at the line. Good job by the Mustang backers meeting him in the hole. That's going to bring up a fourth down. Another goal line stand is on our hands here as the Buffs look to push it in. I want to give Max Shanks credit. I'm not sure I don't read the defense that well. It's just something I don't do often enough. But a big, big stop for the Mustangs. Going to be one more chance to put her in the end zone for Republic County as they take timeout. Republic County going to take a timeout here. Tied at 16. They are about two yards away from getting a touchdown in this tight, well-competitive game. Hey, Tony Trimble gets his first win as a Bulldog head coach up at Marysville at the Landall Family Sports Complex, Homer Hanson Stadium. The final Marysville 30, Concordia 6. Landall Company success story continues to be written by their loyal and dedicated team members. Landall congratulates their employees on another successful year with an incentive bonus of 12.76% or 6.64 weeks of pay. With many career opportunities available, Landall offers career advancement, stable employment, and benefits that include profit sharing, $2 per hour shift differential, 4% attendance bonus, fuel allowance, comprehensive health insurance, and much more. Start your new chapter at Landall today. Apply online at Landall.com, an equal opportunity employer, welcoming vets and disabilities. Back here on KNDY, listen live and online anytime. It's Republic County at about the half-yard line of the Mustangs. Mustang defense looking to get stopped. It's going to be a quarterback sneak right up the middle. Melton, the line is getting pushed back. It looks like they got a stop. Big defensive stop by the Mustangs. Oh, you don't think this crowd just went crazy? The stand at the goal line, what an effort. It was the surge by the Republic County offensive line. They only had to scoot it forward a very short margin, but weren't able to overcome the big purple defense. That big defensive line of the Mustangs able to hold stop now. Can the Valley Heights Mustangs use that momentum on offense and turn it around, get a score on the same end? Mustangs are going to take over, same spot Republic County did. From the 10-yard line, four plays for a touchdown, four plays for the game you got to carry that defensive momentum into your offensive strategy here. And as your line, you see the same guys on the offensive line. You just saw on the defensive side. You want to see that drive. You want to see that power coming out. And unfortunately, we're going to have a false start on the Mustangs. So another shot in the foot for a young Valley Heights Mustangs team. They are making it so tough, so tough on the local fans, let me tell you. They had a penalty that pushed uh, Republic County even half closer, five down to the two and a half yard line, and now on offense, rack up yet another penalty. Sets them back on both sides, just different sides of the ball. So now four downs to go. One bright spot that was on first down. You have four downs to get into the end zone if you are Coach Trimble and the Mustangs. It's going to be Shanks under center. It's going to be swing left side here to Dewalt. Dewalt's got a crease left side. Dewalt's got a swing, and it's a touchdown. Valley Heights Mustang. Jaden Dewalt with the scamper for the 15-yard touchdown for the Mustangs. And if you don't think that touchdown met someone to those boys on the sideline, you are mistaken. Taken. There is some excitement here tonight. Valley Heights win 22-16. 
How about that? How about that? I don't have any other descriptive terms to use for this game besides how about that. An amazing 15-yard run there by Jane DeWalt at the end of the game in overtime to seal this win for the Valley Heights Mustangs. Mustangs win 22-16 against the Republic County Buffs. We'll be right back. What do you do when the unexpected happens? You may wonder what's next. Who do I call? What should I do? Christy Anders Funeral Home is here to support you through this phase of life by providing support and personal services while helping you create a beautiful and unique tribute for your loved ones. Christy Anders Funeral Home is family owned and operated and proud to offer affordable personalized packages to fit any budget. Visit Christy Anders Funeral Home in Waterville or at www.apfunerals.com. Twin Valley Thrift Shops are always updating with new arrivals. Check out the warehouse in Waterville and Twice But Nice in Beatty for a great selection of clothes, toys, games, home decor, everyday pieces. And at the warehouse, they stock furniture and more as well. Your purchase and, of course, your contributions benefit local residents served by Twin Valley Developmental Services. Both locations always accept donations of good, clean, quality used items you're no longer using. Visit the Twin Valley Thrift Shops in Waterville and Beatty. I take great pride in my lawn. My Raptor Zero Turn Mower from Hustler gives me the perfectly manicured cut I want. With the power, strength, and speed of a professional zero turn mower, I quickly maneuver around obstacles with ease, allowing me to maneuver around life's most difficult obstacle time. Hustler Turf, quality tools designed to improve quality of life. Find the entire line of Hustler residential and commercial zero-turn mowers at Blue Valley Trailers in Waterville. You've depended on KNDY Radio to get all your local news, weather, and sports updates. Now you can depend on KNDYradio.com as well, where you can find everything you've heard, missed, and more. Let KNDY keep you informed when severe weather strikes. And listen to your area high school football and basketball broadcasts, even if you're miles away from home, with our Listen Live feature. You can also look to KNDYradio.com for school closings when the weather's rough. Make KNDYradio.com your number one source for everything local and so much more. Here at the Valley Heights High School, Valley Heights Mustangs defeat Republic County Buffaloes 22-16 to on a late Jane D. Walt scamper in overtime for the touchdown. Bruce, what a heck of a game to call. Well, it was. That was, that was a good second half. That was a good second half. That's all there is to it. Um, Heights trailing by a score coming into the second half. They get the lone score in the third and fourth quarters, and they set themselves up for failure by a defensive penalty, giving Republic County every opportunity to score first. And then they get an offensive penalty, which sets them back not from the 10 but the 15-yard line. And it was Jaden DeWalt. You knew he was going all the way. Once he had the football, he was so determined, so determined. Once he found that hole in the left side, there was no denying him, fought off a blocker at the end, able to get in and get the Valley Heights Mustangs a well-needed win after the loss last week. That victory bell uh, rang long and loud here uh, between Blue Rapids and Waterville. What a fun finish for a ball game. As I said, it's been years since I've called a high school overtime, and to have the home team pull out the victory at the end and, and, and overcome the odds. I'll, I'll just go back to that again. Two penalties in the OT, and you come out on top. That's pretty incredible. Pretty resilient for a young team. We mentioned that all night tonight. A young team came through and fought off for the win. Yep, uh, sure did. Uh, let's see. Scoring was Republic County with their first possession at 9.06 in the first quarter. Colin Dahl, 41-yard score. They had a two-point conversion, early 8 nothing lead. Valley Heights answers back on their second possession. It's 3.05 to play in the first. 35-yard touchdown pass, Shanks to Dummermuth. DeWalt carries for the deuce to tie the game eight apiece. On the ensuing kickoff, it is Scrivener scampering 70 yards on the kick return. Dahl to Martin on the two-point conversion pass. 16-8, it went to the halftime. And Valley Heights answers back. Two-yard score with 7-11 to play in the third for DeWalt. Dummermuth on a two-point to conversion. Ties the game 16-all, and that's where it stood to overtime, where Jaden Newall scampers 15 yards on the Valley Heights possession after the Valley Heights defense held Republic County out. Newall with scoring, with a winning score, 22-16 our final. Valley Heights goes 2-2 two two on the season. Republic County heads home winless in 
four starts. Bruce, it was a great game to call. Great win for the Valley Heights Mustangs. I want to thank all the sponsors, of course, as always tonight, for providing us the chance to get down here and call this game. Great game to be a Mustang, right? Great game to be a Mustang. Call we love having you back. We love having you on. As an alum, this was a nice win to watch, a nice way for the boys to get a win. You just like to see it in general. Cody's our guest on the Coach's Corner. Valley Heights airing on Thursdays about 5.30. Tune each evening as we visit with a pair of the area high school coaches on the Coach's Corner. And again, 5.30 Thursday for the Cody Trimble Show. Tony Trimble, dad, wins up at Marysville. First win for the Bulldogs in four starts this season. They knock off Concordia tonight. We'll check all the other scores on the Farm Bureau Insurance School Board show. I guess I could go quick to TVL Sports Spotlight and uh, see what I can find because we do want to keep you up to date and remind you we've got scores twice each hour on the Farm Bureau Insurance School Board show game nights, a service of Patrick Beauty in Marysville and Bryce Leonard in Washington. Also twice during the 7 a.m. morning news block on KNDY. And I will thank our sponsors as I check the final scores. They include Titan Trailer Manufacturing, Performance Ag, Prairie Valley Veterinary Clinic, the Route 77 Corner Stores, Waterville Housing Authority, Mark Suttle and Hardware, My Sister's Closet, Mustang Motors, Blue River Veterinary Clinic, Blue Valley Technologies, Danes Automotive, Cottage Hill Ag, Parker Seed, the Citizens of State Banks, Landall Company, Christy Anders Funeral Home, Twin Valley, Thrift Shops, Blue Valley Trailers, Shop Manufacturing, and our regional sports boosters, they include Honeyman Auto, United Bank and Trust, Can Equip, Hometown Lumber and Hardware, St. Gordon and Associates, Kramer Oil, Sunflower Community Credit Union, Channel Seed, and Bruna Implement Company. Axtell remains undefeated, 56 nothing winner, shutting out Lynn tonight. Clifton Clyde knocks off Washington County, previously undefeated, Clifton Clyde, 22, Washington County, 6. Frankfurt, big win over Donovan West, 54-6. Frankfurt at Lynn, our Friday feature game next week. Wetmore over Southern Coffee County, 59-6. And here tonight, Valley Heights, 22, Republic County, 16, in overtime. Max Blasky, great job tonight. We'll see you back next week. Frankfurt at Lynn, 6 o'clock, Cape Reps pregame show, 6.30, Coach's Corner Roundup. 645 pregame show with coaches' comments live on KNDY. Kansas, Kansas State tomorrow. It's a Jayhawk start, uh, 1030 pregame, 11 o'clock kickoff. And the Wildcats down south in Oklahoma. They're at 5 o'clock for the pregame, 7 o'clock under the lights tomorrow night for kickoff. Again, thank you to all of our sponsors on the broadcast. Thanks for listening in. Have a great weekend, everybody. KNDY.